Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times, or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy myself an overlocker. Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Good morning, good morning. Now, you should have seen the shirt that I'd got out ready for this morning. It was short sleeved, it was tropical, it was down there, up here, keyhole in the middle, okay? Then I looked out the window. <laughs> no, no. So today I'm rocking snowbound Canadian lumberjack realness, and I hope you're loving it. Okay, good morning, everybody. Welcome to Sewing Street. Um, Goodness me, I don't think anybody should be going anywhere today. <laughs> or any day, but definitely not today. Um, not on National Dishwasher, Crab Meat and Barbie Day. Yeah, you heard it first. We're going to start, as always, with our early bird. Apparently it's also National False Teeth Day. That is absolutely good to know. Good to know. Um, hello, hello, and welcome, welcome to Thursday's uh, Sewing Street. <laughs> right, our early bird today. Now, I did a special request for this. It is Bozal in our form, fusible, <laughs> double-sided. This is fab. This is one of my absolute hero products, mostly for bag making. I, I can barely make a bag without it these days. Uh, it is a fusible foam with a fusible on both sides, which means you can create beautiful, smart baskets, boxes, and bags absolute gorgeous shape great sort of structure but soft flexible easy to sew normal price 11.99 not today not today this one's just for you because you might like to make a bag you know while it's all snowy outside 9.99 that is our price today now you're getting half a meter for that 9.99 if you want to multi-buy you absolutely can and i am told it will come in one piece if you multi-buy so if you want to make those larger bags if you want to stock up while this absolute essential can't live without product is on early bird today's the day to do it um you're getting half a meter by 150 centimeters uh, it's 150 centimeters wide which is a really decent sized piece um, more than enough there to create something like a messenger bag or something like a hobo something like that um, if you've never worked with double-sided fusible before there's a few different ways you can use it 
So for example, when you're using this, what I like to do is I just put down something like some baking parchment, or if you've got the Millward um, applique mat, um, iron, ironing board size, you can put that down on your ironing board, but baking parchment's fine. Um, put your bosal in our form down, put your fabric on top, iron it in place, Best advice I can give you when you're attaching in our form to fabric is minimal heat, minimal steam, minimal time. Just do the minimum you can get away with to get that fused. Don't keep going at it with loads of heat and loads of steam because it will flatten out and then it will bubble and you don't want that. Just go in with minimal heat and it will attach absolutely beautifully. Um, then when you're ready to attach your lines, now some people will attach their lining all in one go. So lining, in our form and the top all in one go attach and then make your bag up seams inside and then use binding on the seams you will get an immaculate outside and an immaculate inside the fusible helps to avoid that kind of baggy lining um, and we've all been there when we've made a bag where that lining is just a bit floppy and just a bit loose um, using the double-sided means that you can actually fuse your lining, you'll get a really neat interior. So great for things like picnic bags, work bags, where you want a neat interior. Now, um, you can also leave your lining separate, so do your normal routine, kind of fuse your outer fabric, make your bag up, make a separate lining and then drop it in and uh, stitch it up. But then what you can do is get yourself a travel iron, is the easiest thing to do, and then go into your bag and actually fuse the lining to the inner form once the bag is made up or fuse it front and back, you know, to get a really nice neat finish. You can do it in different ways. Of course, you don't have to use the fusible element of your inner form on that lining if you don't want to. Just fuse on the outside, leave the lining loose. It's entirely up to you. Now, normal price should be $11.99. It's today's early bird on National Barbie Day. <laughs> Majority of you are multi-buying, by the way. Don't blame you. This is something to stock up on, isn't it? It's one of those things I remember once, only once, and it's stuck in my mind <laughs> forever, okay? I ran out of in our form once. And it was like, I know it seems like a, a first world problem, but I mean, really, I was like, well, what am I supposed to do? I've got everything else. I've got the fabric, I've got the metalware, I've got everything else. I was ready to make a bag, but I didn't have the bit inside. And it's easy to overlook the thing inside because it's, you know, it's not glamorous, it's not very sexy, but it is essential to the end result. Um, if you've never used it before, try it in a tote bag. Um, so where in the past, if you used maybe just like um, H640 or something like quilt batting inside a tote bag or nothing at all, the tote bag will be quite floppy and quite soft. Within our form, you're gonna get a beautiful structure which will kind of stand up for itself. It's really, really light. And it's also completely kind of crushable. So when you're working with it, you can fold it up, you can push it down, and then it just springs back um, and will hold its shape again. Um, it also, of course, has, adds a little bit of protection to bags as well. So if you're making things like Kindle covers, um, spectacle cases, I use all my offcuts to make little spectacle cases and little, little um, kind of containers. Um, you know, it just adds a little bit of spongy protection around the outside. Kindles, laptops, e-readers, spectacle cases, that kind of thing. Absolute essential $9.99. Uh, grab yours while you can. Uh, we do have quite limited stocks now, so you need to grab it while you can. Uh, lots of good mornings to say. Good morning to Laurie. Hi, Stuart and team. Love seeing your cheerful face. Have a great day. Thank you. Jan, good morning, Stuart and everyone. No snow on Portland, just damp and cold. I'm heading to Portland. Jan says, good morning, Stuart and everyone. Oh, done that one. Uh, Anne says, morning, Stuart. Great to see you on this snowy day. Stay in, stay warm. Jill says, morning, Stuart. No snow here in South Devon. Uh, Claire says, good morning, Stuart. A bit more snow in Silverstone today. Uh, message across my bottom. Morning, Stuart. You have made my granddaughter Hannah's day saying it's National Barbie Day. Yes. Good morning, Hannah. Good morning, Catherine. It is National Barbie Day. Um, carry your Barbie with pride. Little outing required, I think probably make an outfit for Barbie. It is also National Crab Meat Day. And I don't know about you, but I'd rather have crab meat 
than lobster. So much more flavour. Oh, oh, gorgeous, gorgeous. Uh, Leanne says, good morning, Stuart. You might have to stay in the hotel another night because the snow is really bad here in Leeds and York. Oh, I was thinking about that. Pam says, good morning, lovely. I, um, it'll, it'll have all gone, won't it? It'll have all, there'll be rain. There'll be rain, it'll all go. Oh, I don't like it. Anyway, let's do the menu. All right, so first off, we've got the fabulous Claire Donnelly here. With Crafting Lights, we've got loads of different options for you. Stick around for those. Nine o'clock, Kerry is here from Living in Loveliness uh, with the Coronation Wreath and Bauble. We're getting ready for King Charles III. At 10 o'clock, we've got Fabulous Fabrics. I'm going to do a little bit of making in that hour. Um, and then at 11 o'clock, Kerry's back with the Coronation Cushion and Table Centre. It is absolutely gorgeous. Um, at 12 o'clock, we've got great deals on mannequins. So if you want to get ahead of the Sewing Bee game and get your mannequin ready, um, today is the day you're going to make a great saving. Now, everything is on pre-order. Let me show you how to do that. If you go onto our website, all the W's, sewingstreet.com, um, and then click on Watch Live, and then that will take you through to Watch Us Live and also to Shop. Now, you'll see underneath, coming up on today's show, this is everything that's available for pre-order. There's all the native lighting, gorgeous native lighting, lots of portable lighting today. Yeah. Uh, and that is what we need, isn't it? Move the lighting with you. Don't light a whole room when you just need lighting in one particular area. It's such a smart and economical way of lighting for sewing and other tasks. Then we've got the Coronation Bauble. Isn't that gorgeous? Lewis and Irene fabric. We've got Liberty options. We've got Lewis and Irene options. Fabulous wreath. I'm gonna give you a little sneak. The price is gonna drop. That's just for you and me to know. Um, then at 10 o'clock, we've got some brand new fabrics. Look at that doozy. Absolutely, that's a, that's a panel. And there are some coordinates that are out of this world. Uh, gorgeous stuff, gorgeous. Now this is the um, uh, Lewis and Irene version of the, now what's that called again, remind me. No, it's got a special name. Crowned with diamonds, that's it, crowned with diamonds. And there's a cushion version as well, look at this. This is the, this is the Liberty version. Isn't that fabulous? I just love that. I absolutely love it. That's coming up at 11 with Kerry. It's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Look at that gold, bumbleberries. Oh no, that's the um, Emily Bell. Absolutely fabulous. Gorgeous. Um, and then, um, Back to me. Yeah, mannequins at 12. All right, so let's get started with today's show. I am joined by Claire Donnelly. Hi, Claire. Good morning, From Native Stuart. Lighting, how are you? I'm good, thank we you. We do a little... A little hug. What? We battled How are you our way doing? through the snow. I know, I know. How was it for you this morning? <laughs> well, I came from Silverstone as well, where that uh, ah. lady just mentioned. So, um, yeah, it was... Um, it was a bit tricky getting onto the motorway, but once I was on the motorway, it's okay. I'm just cool. <laughs> now, Native lighting, fabulous lighting for tasks, for yep. ambience, that always looks great, whether you're crafting or not. Yeah, so that's a key thing with our lights, is that they're not just a light that you can use for, for your project. You can mm -hmm. actually then turn the light down to a much warmer co colour. Mm -hmm. um, you obviously need the daylight when you're working on your projects, but mm -hmm. that's what we've set it up to be able to then turn into a light that is nice looking in the home as yeah. well. So it's not just there for, for your crafting. Yeah, it doesn't look clinical. It doesn't look like, it doesn't scream task lighting. No. It looks like smart, modern lighting for your home. We're going to start with the two two in one travel, travel lamp. lamp. This is one of my all time favorite products. Claire. It's one of your all time it. favorites. I think it's one of the viewers all time favorites because we always sell out of this we whenever we bring this back. Um, so what you've got here is you've got a rechargeable lamp that doubles as a torch and a little desk lamp. So to put your torch on, you tap it twice mm -hmm. and you can see it's got a, a quite a big beam it does go really quite a long way. Lots of people have said that they've used it when they've been out and about and it really does shine quite quite a distance. 
So to, you can turn it off by just lifting it up or tapping it twice again. Mm -hmm. So if you're going to use it as a desk lamp, you just tap it to turn it on and you've got three different options. You've got warm light, cool light and daylight on there. So you've got your three different options and then depending on what brightness you want it on, once you're on the setting that you want, you then just keep your finger on it and it will dim it, dim it right down. Take it off, turn it off and then it will go back up to the highest setting. So you've got your three different ones there. So it comes with a USB charger. Uh, it's a C charger, so it charges quite quickly. Uh, it takes up to about an, an hour to charge. And then once it's fully charged, depending on what brightness you have it on, it will last up to four to six hours. It's fantastic. So you could have this as a bedside <laughs> lamp for like sort of, you know, a bit of reading. Yeah. So just soft lighting. You don't want anything too bright, do you? You want to be able to read, but not so bright that it kind of stimulates your body and keeps you awake into the night. Yeah. But then also, if you need a little loo dash in the night. Yeah. You again, don't have to wake everybody up. You can just point the torch along the floor where you're working. Or put the main lights on, which yeah. again tends to wake me up. Yeah. As soon as I put the lights on, that's it. And it could be 2 a.m. I do not want to wake up at 2 a.m. No. So just soft lighting. It's such a useful tool and look at the price 15 pound 33 split pay go for it i mean we always try and put split pays on native lighting it's interest free no credit checks you just choose it as an option when you check out your basket uh, 15 pounds and 33 pence first of three split pays uh, to try a native lighting product if you've never tried native lighting products before they are innovative smart they are so so useful um i forget that you have the three different light settings yeah i think a lot of people do actually they think it's just just going to be daylight but yeah. no we've got the three options on there yeah it's so useful um and the torch as well really bright love the fact that it is chargeable yeah and leds as well yeah all led all the native lighting range is leds so if you're sort of wondering what happens if an led goes leds are sealed units so they don't actually need to be replaced like a bulb would so they will last up to fifty thousand hours which if you use that for eight hours a day that would equate to over 20 years worth of use so most people <laughs> normally want to change the style that's of their crazy. lamp by then so that's what we mostly find but so many other uses lots of people say they keep these in their caravans yep. so they haven't got a, and then obviously just charge it up when they go there people keep them in the car mm -hmm. in case they break down yep. so taking it camping so 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 many options it does also work while it's being charged in so you don't have to wait for it to charge up perfect, if you want to perfect. be able to use it for you that. know you'd laugh Claire a couple of days ago Charlie and I went out for a Thai meal um, and we went to the restaurant and it was really sort of dark and ambient there were no candles or anything like that. we were both sitting there at the table with our phones Phone lights on. shining the light <laughs> on the menu ridiculous we could just take our take own little own. lighting that would have been perfect on the table as the desk light yeah I mean, all right, people might have looked, but I mean, it's become the thing now, isn't it? Everyone gets their phone out. To be able to see. To definitely. see. Yeah. And it just reminds us, doesn't it, how important good lighting is. You can't sew properly, knit properly, crochet or read a pattern. You're straining your eyes and often that's the thing that makes you think, oh, I'm going to need to put this away. You know, I'm, I'm struggling to see now. I'll put the sewing away. I'll put my knitting down long before you actually want to simply because you're getting eye strain, headaches or yeah. you're just kind of you're conscious that you're squinting. Yeah, it's also really important for colour matching to have the, have the actual daylight setting on because if you're not actually using a daylight setting when you're working with colours, you could be mismatching. So it's like being outside at noon on a sunny day and having the daylight setting, that's the actual light that it gives you. So always make sure you've got your daylight setting on if you're working with colours. That's great advice. Whatever the time of day, whatever the yep. weather or what's going yep. on outside as well, Definitely. you know, use that, match your colours. I think that's a really, really good tip, really important tip. It's a brilliant price, isn't it? The two-in-one travel lamp. We've got single figures left, so you are going to need to be quick. Check out your baskets. £15.33 is the price on your first of three split pays. You can just jump in there and pay the full amount if you want to. Um, but I think it's a great way of getting some native lighting in your home. Try the brand, see how it works for you. Use those split pays. Love it.
Absolutely love it. One of my favourite products. Now, talking of favourite products. Yeah. Uh, the magnifying clip-on. Magnifying clip-on. The right. magnifying okay. clip-on. Um, because again, I was with my cross stitch and tapestry, I was getting to the stage where I was thinking, oh, I, might. I was actually thinking about giving up doing cross stitch because I was finding it such a chore. Was you? Such a chore. Yeah, and my eyesight just, and my optician says, I don't need readers. Mm, it's funny, but isn't I it? I was struggling. Yeah. Especially with things like navy blue or black Ada. Now, this is a really fantastic opportunity to try native lighting because this is 10 pounds and 66 pence, first of three split pays to try the native lighting white clip on magnifier. Um, Talk me through it, Claire. Okay, so this what is, is a, it? What do they do? Right, so this is a rechargeable magnifier. So it's just plugged in at the moment, but because um, it just needed a bit of charging, so you can see how bright it is. But it charges up, and it's got a clip on it. So if you have like a stitching stand, or if you maybe work on a tray on your lap, then you can you can clip it, clip it onto there. That's a deep clip as well. Yeah, quite a deep clip. So it, it goes up to um, I think it's about five centimeters that cool. one on there so you've got your on and off button here and if you keep your finger on it will get brighter as well so or then gosh, it'll dim yeah, that it, is really bright it'll dim, and then you could keep your finger on to dim down as well so that's as low as it goes take it off put it on again and then go back up to the brightest so the magnification on this is 1.3 times and you've got your gooseneck here to obviously angle it where you need to and then i've just got a few little beads here to see if we can see how much that actually magnifies We're them. zooming in. Wow, <laughs> it's We're gone completely. Uh, <laughs> it's we'll gone completely it's just solid. Just need to focus the camera. It's really it, difficult. It might be because it's, they're all white beads. I think they're sort of going all into all can into I have each a look other over the top because yeah. we can see how brilliantly. Oh, that is super cool. That is super cool. It's really, there. it's much more difficult for a camera to get that shot, but it's my... really clear. Oh, here we go. Look, we can see my ring under there. So you can see how much that's then magnifying my ring. It's a bit easier to do it with something that's not white and lots of different ones. So, uh, so you look, that's come out there. You can see it. And then you come in there. Cool. And you can see, get there, there how much that magnifies mm -hmm. so yeah mm -hmm. I mean if you are struggling and um, I know lots of people do use this for Ada they use it for helping them with threading a needle yeah. um, just so many different <coughs> options to use this for so you've got the light and then you've got the magnification on there as well to help you when you're working with your intricate details well the other thing when you're working at a sewing machine and yes a lot of sewing machines now have great lighting around them some even have like a little extra pull out like the the 780 plus from Elna but but you still might want extra lighting in a particular place or at a particular time. Like you say, yeah. when you're threading the needle, mm. you may find that extra light is enough to help you thread the needle. You can use the magnification as well if you need to, but it's just having that directional lighting that you can place just where you need it. Yeah, that's what's really key with all of our goosenecks as well, is that mm. they are made, they're reinforced, so they don't end up going going loose and dropping so that they, they stay in position and they stay where you actually put mm -hmm. them as yeah. well. Exactly right, exactly right. You know, I, ju I say it again, you can't underestimate how important good lighting is and how much it increases your pleasure. Yeah. Because, you know, it, we so often, I think our, our default setting is to blame ourselves, particularly if we're getting a bit older and I'm doing this all the time now. I said, oh, well, you know, I can't expect to be able to see to thread the needle because I'm 52 yeah. and my eyes say it's not what it was, but <laughs> just, you know. But actually, if I get some decent lighting, I can do it no problem. Yeah, and so it's not yeah. really me. It's the lighting. Um, Christine's got in touch from Northamptonshire to say, I love this small magnifier. Uh, saved a necklace that had a knot in the chain. Couldn't see to undo it, but under the magnifier, I was able to undo it. Awesome. Oh, brilliant. Awesome. I love to hear stories like that. I probably paid for the lamp. Yeah, definitely. Rather than discuss, you know, depending on what the necklace cost. Uh, fantastic. Great. I love Very it. Very nice to hear. Um, now, uh, the table lamp with the really long goosenecks. Oh, the Lumina. Lumina. Yeah. The okay. Lumina. So, so these are the, this is the Lumina, these are Lumina desk lamps. So these are ideal uh, if you work on a sewing machine or if you just work at a table. 
So what we've got, these are extremely flexible. So we've got a white one and a black one. So you've got a really long neck on it. So if you've got a sewing machine, yeah. sometimes it's ideal to actually position. Which I do. I'm oh. just going to grab a sewing machine, <laughs> actually, and pop it up there for a second, just to show what we mean. So white details on screen right now. OK. So it, like um, Stuart was just saying, sometimes you might want a lot more light round the sewing machine rather than just on the needle. Mm -hmm. If you just angle it round like that, mm -hmm. then you can actually see how much light that gives. It's got five different colours. So it's got warm light, cool light, daylight, and a couple of other ones in between. And it's got five brightness settings on each one as well. So that's on the brightest there. So you can see literally how much light that's actually giving around, around the sewing machine, absolutely flooding it. Some people have it at the back, mm -hmm. some people have it at the front. I was going to say, yeah, I would probably some do people that, prefer and that, that just illuminates yeah. the space. So I'm thinking <clears> if you're quilting a quilt, and in particular, if you're quilting, say, like white thread on top of white background, cream on cream, black on black, yeah. those kind of things, where you can so easily basically lose where you've sewn yeah so if you're doing something like a vermicelli quilting and the idea is not to cross back over lines mm. you've got to be able to see what you've already done this is perfect for that aim your lighting behind you with the light flooding forward everything that you've got left to quilt you'll be able to see what you've quilted it makes it so much easier more yeah. successful and also with the daylight setting like you were saying if you're on black on black and white mm -hmm. on white that really then will show show you so you can actually see see what you're doing yeah so this particular light's got 25 color settings 25 so five colors and five brightnesses on each one okay. so depending on any eye conditions that you've got or maybe if you're struggling a little bit you'll always find a color that's going to work for you and it, which is going to make it much more comfortable for you to work with mm -hmm. so these are one of our most popular lamps um so they've, they've been really 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 popular these lamps amazing and, amazing long gooseneck as well and they you know you can if you don't want that length you could you can make it smaller you, yep. could, you can position it to exact exactly where you want it mm -hmm. and it also comes with a remote control as well so on the remote control you've got all the color settings you've got a 10 minute timer a minute timer so maybe if you've been crafting for such a long time and you're like I'm just gonna do 10 more minutes set yep. the timer and when the light goes off you know it's time to finish then. I like that so. my top tip when you're free motion quilting or doing any quilting 10 minutes set the timer 10 minutes do your quilting when the lights and do the lights go off go off yeah go off that is the time to take a break every 10 minutes stop roll your shoulders, shoulders yeah. have a little stretch get up, walk around, and then sit down and carry on and 10 more minutes. Down. That's genius. So yeah, so, so also if you don't want, if you maybe position the lamp so it's maybe a little bit further away or it's behind something, you haven't got to worry about trying to find the controls on the pole, you can just use your remote control to be able to operate it. So it's mm. a nice extra feature with that one. I like that a lot. Can I ask you about warranty? Just yeah, all of our lights come with two year warranty. Two year, fantastic. Yeah. Irrespective, fantastic. Box, so obviously go right down to the uh, more affordable ones, right? obviously but up to our most expensive ones fantastic that's great so 31.99 first of three split pays what a great way again we try and do everything from native lighting with split pays whatever the price normally split pays don't start till 100 pounds but uh give it a go try native lighting see how it works for you see how your crafting improves now this lamp also comes in black and it's more limited in black right okay. black is that is a very smart integrate into your home kind of color isn't it the black yes i mean it, it's funny sometimes white's more popular at the minute we are selling a lot more black mm -hmm. i think particularly people that have got maybe gray i think gray and neutral colors are quite right. a thing at the <laughs> moment that's quite the fashion so a lot of people are tending to go to go for the black i think yeah. because it sort of fits in a bit more with the home so really nice and, and sleek looking yeah. as well and you were saying as well you've just been doing a beauty show I have, where yeah. native lighting is a huge hit with beauty therapists and nail technicians hairdressers yeah so also actually let's just think beyond 
sewing, knitting, crafting, if yep. we must, <laughs> you know, actually we all, you know, do our hair, maybe we do our makeup, yeah. we do our nails, yeah. things like that, maybe we cut our own hair. So actually this is lighting that we can use for our crafts, but we can also use, use in for other loads things. of different yeah. ways. Yeah. And also not just for using as crafting because we've made them look quite aesthetically pleasing so that you can actually use them in the home as well as so having them obviously on the settings that you want while you're, you're working and then turn it down to the warm lights if you want like a nice ambient light in the evening yeah absolutely absolutely i can never just sit and do nothing no. Claire, <laughs> of an evening i'm always there with my knitting and i always want a little bit of extra light but the last thing i want to do is put the big light on as peter k would say yes um just a bit of task lighting yeah it's all you need you get all the ambience without it looking mm -hmm. like Blackpool Illuminations. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, next up is one of my absolute, in fact, I think it might be my favorite lighting, which is that gorgeous lantern. The reverse light. I just love it, the reverse light. Let me move this sewing machine yeah. out of your way. So its real name is the reverse light, but probably <laughs> lots of people know it as the uppy downy light, right. as, it's, as it's been named by Mr. John. <laughs> <laughs> oh, does he call it the uppy, uppy downy? downy light? Of yeah. course, of <laughs> so course. Probably, people probably know it's that. Okay, so what you get with this one Look at that. is you light it up here and you've got a warm light and you turn it over and then it changes to daylight. I'm not sure if it's capturing it on screen, but it is really, really noticeable. So if you want it for the daylight setting, it gives a really big glow all the way around. Mm -hmm. So it's perfect to use for when you're crafting. It's a lovely bedside lamp as well. It's rechargeable. So again, lots of people take this camping, use it for different things like that, caravans. It's got Love a little that. handle on it so you can carry it around as well so it's like like a lantern as you yeah, say with you the, could with hang the little that up, handle couldn't you in the shed or in a cupboard um penny's got in touch from monmouthshire to say i bought the reverse lamp and the desk magnifying lamp for my mum she's 95 and found the lighting is perfect for her oh wonderful that's awesome yeah we've got easter coming up um what a lot of people use this for is they put flowers around it so instead thinking. of actually having a candle then um, you can actually put that that around uh, around it instead of a candle, so it makes it. Well, oh, hello, hello, hello. Look, <laughs> look at that. So there we go. We were doing this a lot at Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> where we were using the reverse light in the centre of a wreath. Right. Much safer. Gorgeous glow. Yeah. It looks so atmospheric. And obviously this is good. this is obviously for the coronation, is it? It is. Yeah. So people will probably be outside. So this is quite nice. You can have this around there and then you've got that outside. So you've got that light when you go into the evening as well. Yeah, so. I know it's really lovely. And a great night light too. Yeah. Cause you can dim the lights down. You can. So what you've got here is you've got um, the dimmer button here. So you just put your finger on there and then you just, you can either just tap it or, or run it, run along and it will dim down and you've got the same on both sides as well so what's the lowest light level oh gosh that's, that's on lovely the lowest, just a yeah. real gentle glow yeah and then you go back up now this is rechargeable so how long a charge are we going to get how long a use so it lasts for we say eight hours mm -hmm. depending on what what is on but um vicky has one um in Maisie's nursery and she says it's it's very conservative eight hours but cool. we say eight hours in case you you've got it on the really highest setting all the time but mm -hmm. um it does last last a, a, a good while great so kind of all through the night so yeah. you still have that little glow in the morning as you were waking up yeah i think it's gorgeous it's just it's very stylish isn't it very smart love the fact that you've got the daylight or the warm light yeah just by um, the switch just by flipping it over then you get you get your change and again just especially if the room or where you're working is just a bit gloomy and just needs kind of warming up or cozying up yeah um cost to run any of your native lighting i think we're all very conscious aren't we especially at the moment yeah about our electricity bills so leds use much less electricity than a light bulb so it's going to be much if you've got if you've been thinking about maybe upgrading from from a light bulb another thing to think about is if you use a lamp with a light bulb they do generate quite a lot of heat mm -hmm. uh, leds don't generate any heat so if you're working underneath a light and you, it's, yours has maybe been getting hot then if you one of the native lights won't generate that heat and 
is much more energy efficient. Yeah, love that. I love that. And you know, all of these lighting uh, options as well, I just think you could use them in so many different ways, not just for us as sewers, crafters, knitters, but also, you know, in workshops, in the garage, in the shed. Um, if you're, say, working on the car, in the garden even, um, you know, where you just want to increase the light. Yeah. Um, so you can see what you're doing also for things like students yeah you know extra lighting um at the dead people still work at desks i still work at mine mm. you know but just increasing the lighting when you're working yeah definitely and it's really important to to, to make sure that you, you're working in, in a good light a lot of people just think oh it, you know it's okay but it's just it strains the eyes and you know it's it's really important to make sure you've got a good quality light yeah and so many people have said to me that you know they've had to give up the crafts that they've loved because they just felt they couldn't see anymore so super depressing yeah and then they've said they've got one of our lights and, and if need be then they've gone for a magnifier and just said they're so pleased that they're able to continue doing what they love yeah, there are so there are so many options now, aren't there? You know that. Yeah, I know. Sometimes, ultimately, we do have to maybe give up some of our crafts, but let's only do that when we really have to. Let's explore yeah. all the possibilities first. <laughs> I love it. Loads of lovely good mornings, by the way, and loads of questions. Uh, let's have a question. This is about the Lumina. Okay. Okay. Uh, we will put the graphics up, and then we will ask that question. Here we go. Hi. What thickness can the clamp attach to? What sort of thickness? On the of Lumina, table? it's oh, it's six centimeters. Cool. Um, I would say that I've got a really thick farmhouse table at home. Totally struggle with your old-fashioned angle poise getting that clamp on. It's not deep enough. Right. These do. These go on mm -hmm. my thick farmhouse table. Right. That's good. So. Hope that helps. Six centimetres. Uh, just a few good mornings. Um, Sandra's got in touch saying morning from still glorious sunshine in Glasgow. No white stuff yet. We're all jealous. Um, Leanne says, please stay safe. We have an amber warning. Oh, Hilary says morning, Stuart, and all from a lightly snowing Barn Oldswick. Gorgeous. Um, enjoy that new tarmac road, Hilary. Looking smart. And Steph says, good morning, Stuart. Clears throat. There's snow business like so business. I like it. <laughs> like so business, I know. Everything about it is appealing take care everyone i love it i love it very good right what's next let's do the task lamp oh, that's on right. my okay. side let's do the black one first now i'm going to grab the sewing machine back so now claire will you come across mm. thank you this is one of the larger lamps this but is one of still our larger portable lamps, yeah. talk me through this so this is the task this is the wide task lamp so what this gives you is an 80 centimeter width of light amazing so if you're working on a big table mm -hmm. or you maybe have a cutting table or if you're working on a large project like a quilt mm -hmm. but it's also fantastic to have a sewing machine underneath because it just completely lights that whole area yeah and I've got my sewing machine out here ready. So, how do we turn this one on? This is at the top, right? Mm, yeah, so you've got, if I use my one here, so you've got your on and off button in the middle. Am I plugged in? Oh, am I plugged in? I don't know if I've got any power. No, oh, yes I do. On. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm like a child. <laughs> so then, so you've got your on and off button in the middle, mm -hmm. and then next to it you've got the temperature buttons. These so are all along the front, right? Yeah. So we've got five different temperatures on there. So again, we've got daylight, warm light, and cool light mm -hmm. on there. We've got different brightness settings as well for each colour. There's a 50 minute timer, so a slightly longer timer on this one. 15. 50. 50. Yes. I know, great. Yeah. And the other thing that we've got on here is it's got a sensor and an auto, auto button, which is a this really is so clever. clever feature. So what that basically does is that adjusts the light all day long, mm -hmm. depending on what the light is like in your room. So it will always be at the same light. So if it gets darker, it will get brighter. If it gets lighter and the sun comes out, then it will bring it down. It's so clever. So I absolutely love that feature. So you could be working, say like first thing in the morning, yeah. where it's still, I'm a real early riser. Yeah. So I'll start working, it might be 5, 5.30. Yeah. Sun's not up yet. No. I've got all the lighting on full blast. Yeah. I barely know that three hours have passed. Yeah. 
Uh, the sun has come up, the daylight has changed. Yeah. But my regular lighting is still... Still as bright as it was, yeah. This is going to adjust. And it also uses less power. Because obviously if it's going to be using less brightness, uh -huh. it's then using less power. So as the day goes on, and also it's so important if you're doing your colour matching, mm -hmm. because it's always going to be consistent at the same light. As well, long as you've got your auto button on. I love that. Karen's made exactly the same point. I've yep. both of the task lights and they're a game changer for seeing the colour of fabrics, threads, paper crafting and so on. I couldn't work without it. Oh. It's lovely to hear all your feedback. It is, it's fantastic, yeah. isn't it? And this is such a big area, 80 centimetres worth of light. This could actually be on your desk. You're working from home. Yeah. You've got your laptop, your computer, dare I say it, paper and a pen. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so retro. Um, so I like to work yeah, still. Yeah, I still do too. Uh, yeah, you can't, you know, unless you, have you lose to have the a laptop piece of for a lot of things, but it's still it's something it. about writing things down, it really isn't it? Is, it really is. It really <laughs> taps into a different part of the brain, I think. Yeah. But, um, you know, whatever you're doing, maybe you're sitting writing your diary, doing your scrapbooking, um, uh, writing letters. Yeah. You know? It, it is a very nice. Um, lamp that goes over a desk and particularly if you're one of these people that has to work with two screens yeah because it lights both screens as well and so. you know as well i'd be inclined we've got this on this side because of showing you um at home but actually at home i would have this on the other side of the desk and reaching it back towards me I'm just um, going to um, take it off and show you the how it fixes it's this is a quite a different clamp to the rest of the clamps that we've got so this is a really... So this is the white details now on screen. This is a pretty heavy duty clamp, this one. So yeah. this one will go on a, a bigger area than six That's centimetres. Huge. This one's about an eight centimetre depth. But if you don't want to clamp it onto your desk, you've got a, a plate on the back where you can actually attach it to the wall. So you've got nice. two options with that one. So sometimes people find that it's a little bit... Um, too big to have on the desk and they don't want to lose that space mm -hmm. so you can then just obviously have it attached to the wall so literally screw there through into the wall yeah love that this options. is stylish as well this is white and silver the black is all black but this is white and silver which is super smart yeah really this, chic it's a, I love it's that. a nice lamp this one yeah 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 really like that um 39.99 would you believe is your split pay fantastic three split pays on this one 39.99 zero interest uh, and you do not have to pay all three split pays before we send you the task light you pay your first payment that is it today we'll send you the lighting get it in your home use it see how it works for you see what difference it makes karen remember couldn't work without it yeah is everything to not just matching colors but being able to see what you're doing doing clearly it could be the difference between you sort of feeling successful and feeling like oh, i don't know if this craft is for me anymore yeah I, yeah. I, I hear that from people where it's actually either technique or lighting or just their whole setup is is working against them mm. And just actually changing that, you don't need to change. No, exactly. Change your setup. Try definitely try out a light before you decide not to carry on. I totally agree. I totally agree. For 119.99, it could revolutionise how you sew, how yeah. you craft, or just how you work from home. Definitely. Oh, working from home. That sounds nice yeah. today. <laughs> In the snow, it? watching the snow out the window. <laughs> PJs, quilt around your shoulders. Yeah. Don't go anywhere. Yeah. We're envious. We're envious. <laughs> <laughs> I love that though. So um, now, I have a question. I have a question. Does the task lamp come with a stand option as I have nothing to screw it to? That's from Tracy in West Midlands. Uh, no, it doesn't. But did you see the plate on the back where you can actually attach it to a wall? Fix it so, to a wall. Yeah. Unfortunately, there isn't like um, anywhere for it to go into a stand. So we don't actually have that. Yeah. We do, so we do have some other options that if you'd like to send me a message that I can have... Um, 
I, I can let you know which other lights Sewing Street have that you can get stands for. So, That'd be awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks for that, Claire. But it does have, you know, the clamp for the table or that wall screw. So maybe fixing it to the wall. Okay, we have another uh, uh, message from Sheila, who's in Hertfordshire. Sheila says, "Morning, all. I just wanted to say I bought the wide task light last year. I use it almost every day. I'm so glad I bought it." From Sheila in Hertfordshire. That's a great oh, message. Oh, lots of people saying how they're loving their lights yeah, this morning. Yeah, <laughs> and now Sheila uses it every day. Yeah. If Sheila used it every single day yeah. for eight hours, yeah. how long before she's going to run out of bulb? I need, to, <laughs> I, I, I need to work it out exactly, but I know it's just over 20 years. <laughs> so she'll probably want a new style by then. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I know the answer, but I love asking yeah, the question. I just think it's crazy that you get like 20 years. Yeah, and you think about how many bulbs you'd maybe buy in 20 years to, to replace. So you're saving there as well. I know, it's fabulous. Wouldn't it be lovely to think, this is it. I don't need to think about this for 20 <laughs> years. years. Love that. And also, we keep getting power cuts. Yeah, exactly. We keep getting power cuts. So I love all of the rechargeable options yeah. that you have as well. You know, having a mixture of these different lights in your home it's not about there isn't one light for everything no I think is that fair to say no I mean quite a lot of people message in and say they've got six or seven of my lights which I'm thinking well that's you know that's lovely to hear yeah. that but because they're saying you know they have one attached to their desk they've got one in the lounge they've got one in the sewing room they've got one that they take to the caravan and one that they use around the house and yeah. so yeah so many so many options yeah I definitely definitely always need portable lights yeah I love the fact I can take the light with me yeah rather than lighting the whole house up like Blackpool illuminations yeah now talking of portable the two-in-one travel lamp the thing we always call a torch but it's not a torch <laughs> but it is um, we are on single figures can we just grab that Claire that? please yeah. and recap it <clears throat> Coming back here, or please. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Come back with you. Right. On the special side. <laughs> On the special side. Okay. So this is the option for the torch. So you just tap it twice, and then you've got your torch. It's a really long beam. Goes really, really far. This beam does. And then you don't actually have to turn it off if you're going to turn it into the desk lamp. So you've got three options of colours on there. You've got warm light, daylight, and cool light on there. You can see the different colours changing. And each one also has a brightness level. So if you just keep your finger on it and then it will dim down, take it off and then go to the other ones, which when you get to the color you want, then just keep your finger on and then you either dim it down or press the button to go back up to the brightness. Mm -hmm. It's rechargeable. It comes with a C charger, which is much faster charging cable now mm -hmm. and it's USB so you just plug it into either an adapter or a power pack or anything that's got a USB like maybe a sewing machine or a laptop mm -hmm. and, and can actually work while you are um, charging it as well. Great, absolutely so. perfect option. Um, so we don't ever need to buy batteries for this? Never need to buy batteries, it's all LEDs and it's an internal battery that's recharged. It's fantastic. I just love it. And um, what's your advice about recharging? Is it best to run it right down until it's empty and then recharge? Or can we keep topping it up? Yes, it is. Um, also, if you keep it charged up, it will lose a certain amount of charge. So mm. if you say keep it charged up and don't use it for a month or six weeks, the charge does glad gradually um, go down. So always give it a little bit of a charge ev mm. every month, even if you don't keep it fully charged. But yeah, sometimes it, it doesn't have to run down. I, that that was a, a thing years ago when it wasn't good for batteries um, but yeah no if you can just keep charging it it'll be fine I'm just getting funny messages in my ear from oh, yeah. Hannah. I'm very, very old. I remember when you used to have to leave things She's to really like run down. But how do you know about years ago? Because I'm old, Hannah. I'm old. No, love it. I love it. And, you know, I mean, I live out in the country, but I mean, wherever you live, just to have that extra lighting. We don't have great street lighting. No. We don't have, you know, and, and, and round like on the farm, for example, there's lots of nooks and crannies. Yeah. Something you can pop in your pocket pocket you know so you, if I've lost a goat for example goat. and I need to buy it does happen it really does happen <laughs> now I realize this isn't something that will affect everybody but for example if you lost a goat kid and yeah. you needed to find them yeah. in a dark barn then that would be ideal you. yeah there you go <laughs> being quite 
be quite specific, aren't I? <laughs> I also love the fact that you can actually almost use this like as a as a well not as a wand but in a wand position. Yeah. So for example, if like you're that. looking for something in a cupboard, that you can actually reach in and shine that light wherever you need to. Um, I just it's so yeah. adaptable. It's a brilliant product, and you should win an award just for the cleverness of the torch part becoming the base of a lamp. Yeah. I just think is so clever and i know sometimes we've had a couple of questions in about is um is it protected so basically you've got an actual rubber silicone here and the actual lens is slightly inset so you never actually stand it on the lens so it's not getting scratched as well it's a really good point really good point usb charging c charger yes so that's the quick one that's the quick one fantastic yeah. fantastic do we get the cable it comes with that yep so you just Fab. need to put uh, put an adapter plug on the end yep. or, or put it into a usb Absolutely perfect. Yep. Fifteen pound and thirty-three pence. Go for the split pays. I would. Three of them. I mean, normally that doesn't kick in until a hundred pound, but you've got it on on this uh, terrific lamp. Fifteen pound thirty-three. Now the table magnifier, please. Right. Okay, that's this. Love one. all this lighting. <laughs> so this is a nice little compact magnifier for it, it works really well in front of a sewing machine if you're just sewing if you again if you work with a, a tray or a little table next to you you can use this lamp if you want to use it with the sewing machine what you would do is you would just put it like that in front of the needle so mm -hmm. you can actually see in front of the needle so you've got your on and off button there and again we've got warm light daylight and cool light on this one so three different colors and each setting has got three different brightness levels as well so you've got one two three and then you've got your different colors as well and then that's each amazing brightness on there so this one's really nice if sometimes you need a magnifier but sometimes you need a light mm -hmm. so when you need just the light you can put your lid down and then just have it like that as as a light and then if, when you think, oh, I'm working on something really intricate at the moment, I need a little bit of help with the magnification. This is three times magnification. So this is very high magnification on this one. So if I can just maybe come in here with my ring, you can see that there. And then you come out. Yep. Mm -hmm. So you can see the difference Wow, that's there. that is a big that's magnification. A lot of magnification on this one. So this is this is re really high. The industry standard tends to be 1.75, mm -hmm. but I wanted one that was quite a lot higher, particularly for the people that were getting to the stage where they really thought they couldn't do it anymore. So we went for one really, That's really cool. As, and with magnifiers, you have to be a little bit careful because some people say, "Oh, I need 10," and I'm like, "You wouldn't be able to see." No. <laughs> Basically, That's a microscope. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, wouldn't be you able to microscope. see. Three, three is a, is a really good one, and then if you need to go any higher than that, you have to be a little bit careful because it can get a little bit distorted and things mm. like that so the highest we do is three mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah you don't want to be able to start seeing bacteria <coughs> no, on the exactly. end of your needle tip do you <laughs> definitely not you don't need it that high that is really clever though that is really clever and um now that one that works with a power cable that's mains operated that one yeah understood so plug that one in. understood yeah no that's terrific it's a great option 14 pounds and 33 pence that's it Get your first of three split pays, £14.33. Try this three times magnification, warm, cool. And daylight. And daylight. Yeah. Three different light settings and then different uh, levels. Bright brightness levels, yeah. Did you say there were five levels of brightness or three? On this one, there's three. three. Um, on the Luminas and the task, the wide task lamps, there is um, five. Yeah, amazing just terrific so much technology in a really easy to use lamp give it a try give it a try it is the uh, desk magnifying lamp now there's another little, this little desk one? lamp that one yes, yes that's cute so this is the one that's the most affordable one mm -hmm. in our range and um this one is just a very small on off spotlight and it's just daylight setting so this again is a great one if you haven't really worked with with daylight lights and you want to give it a try so you've just got your on and off there and it's a really bright spotlight oh, yeah. on there 
So this one is USB powered, so it needs to always be plugged into um, an adapter or to a battery pack or to anything that's got a USB socket. This like one. your sewing machine, your or sewing your machine sewing will machine. well have a USB. Yeah. yeah, so a lot of people do use this with sewing machines and they just angle the light in the area that they're sewing and then because it is a really bright spotlight so you just get that really bright light there. I think it's amazing that you've got all of that native lighting technology and all that innovation in a product that's $23.99 and have you seen the split pay? Amazing. <laughs> I've never it? ever seen a split pay of £7.99 <laughs> <No. laughs> but we want everyone to try native lighting. We want everyone to try it. So give it a go, it's seven ninety nine. dollars uh, Try this. I could see me using that with my sewing machine such a lot because like I say, I don't actually need magnification for threading my needle. Mm. It is light that I need. Yeah. With some extra light in there, I can thread my needle no problem. And this gives me that. Yes. Yeah, absolutely terrific. Seven ninety nine is the split pay on that. Give it a go. Amazing. Um, this what, sorry. Yep, the big task lamps. Yep, we'll have a quick recap mm -hmm, on those. The black one. Yep. So if I maybe just talk through the, the buttons a yes, little bit on here. Yes, perfect. Yes, please. So you've got the on and off button in the middle here. So that's the one right there. Yeah. And then you've got next to it the temperature, which is the different colours. So you've got you go through your colours, you've got warm light, cool light and daylight, so you've got your different colours mm -hmm. there. Then, you, so you've got the different colours there, and then you've got the different brightnesses for each one. Then you've got your 50 minute timer, and then you've got your auto button for adjusting the light. So you've got your sensor here, so that's what this does. It picks up the light that's going on oh, in the I've room during so the day. This right here. Yeah. So we've done the test before actually in the studio where we've brought the lights right down and then you can see the light getting much brighter because it's picked up that the actual light around you yeah. is, is much less. We so can turn the lights off. Yeah. Should we can. do that? Yeah. Let's do that. Oh. So you can see how much brighter then that's, that's gone. It's Star Wars. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because it's, and then when the lights come up, you'll see, it, see that it'll go down. They're not gradual, are they? <laughs> boom. So yeah, so, so now, obviously, it's gone down. It's not as bright as bright as it was before. Yeah. It's very clever. I love the fact that, you know, whatever time of day you're crafting yeah. and whatever you set it at at the start, yeah. it's going to maintain just the right level of lighting. So, so for when you're doing colour matching, that is, you know, obviously really important to yeah. make sure that you've Absolutely. got that. You can also have it up like this. So if you wanted to use it as an uplighter, if you, maybe you had something on the on the wall mm -hmm. that you wanted to light as well. Mm -hmm. This part of the, the neck is, is, is a goose neck as well. So it is obviously bendable and you can go to the side. Mm. You, you can you can have it wherever you want to have yep. it really and then keep twisting it as well it's just so adaptable they're ever so clever i can see clearly now the light is on <laughs> i won't sing it's too early <laughs> thanks for that step by the way i love it this is the wide task lamp absolutely perfect for having over behind in front of your sewing machine your embroidery machine just think about how much easier it's going to make your sewing, your embroidery, knitting, crochet, reading, working from home. Um, really adaptable. It is intuitive. So it has a sensor in the top, which detects the amount of light in the room. So if somebody comes in and puts all the lights on, for mm. example, your lamp is going to detect that. It's going to reduce the amount of lighting, reduce the amount of energy you're using, but still adapting, still giving you the same amount of light for the task that you're doing. Whatever you start with, whatever you program it with, it is genius. Absolute genius. Loads of you coming in on that. Uh, it's just incredible the fact that it adapts to the light yeah. around you that yeah. is a super clever innovation um, um this is one of the the really nice looking lamps one of the larger ones i think this is one of my favorite ones it's fab now i need to let you know some numbers because we're very limited on both of them this one we have got the black we've got 11 left that's it the white one we're at single figures six left okay there's six left so if you want to grab that for your embroidery you're sewing um so many of them in baskets uh yeah just 
Choose the one you want. Check out your basket now, otherwise you're going to miss out. We don't have enough to go around for everybody. Oh, okay. <laughs> but another amazing hour with you, Claire. Yeah, sometimes I think, oh, how are we going to talk for a whole hour about lights? But um, we always do. <laughs> there's so many different applications. Like I said, there's no one light no. for everything. No, exactly. It's so about many having a few options. options. Definitely. Two, three, up to seven. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, listen, you've got a busy day. You're staying all day. I am. Uh, you're going to be over on Hobby Maker later. I will be at uh, five o'clock. Okay. Yes. Awesome. So have a great time in between. Thank have you. Have you brought something with you to do? I have, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Thank you very much for your company and for giving us such an in-depth tour of Native Lighting. Thank you for having Thanks, me. Claire. When are you on next? Um, I think beginning of April. I'm awesome. back. Awesome. Look so, forward to yeah. it. All right. Thank you. Thank and enjoy you. that snow day. I will do. Thank you. <laughs> All right everyone um, now next hour we've got uh, Kerry from Living in Loveliness coming and we're going to start celebrating the coronation of King Charles III with some fantastic projects so please don't go anywhere go and make yourself a cuppa uh, don't look outside it's awful and I'll see you back here in about three minutes keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy myself an overlocker. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. 
Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favorite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Hi everybody, welcome back to Sewing Street. I'm Stuart Hillard and today I have Gary from Living in Loveliness. Good morning Stuart, how are you? Morning. I'm good thanks, how are you doing? I'm very well, thank Fantastic. you. Fantastic, well. it's great to see you. It is, it feels like yesterday, the last time I saw you actually. We seem to be seeing each other more frequently these we do. days. It's rather lovely, it works for me. <laughs> it definitely today works for me. we're celebrating the coronation. We are, we're getting, we're getting ready. Getting early. We're getting ready early. We are, are you excited? I am actually. Street parties. Definitely street parties. Decorate party. the house get lively, maybe have a little party, something like that. We've got some really fun projects from Kerry in Living in Loveliness. Four projects this hour, and then some more coming later at 11 o'clock. Right. So let's get started. Now, we're gonna start with the wreath. This is so cool. I love this version. Uh, Kerry's done the wreath this time in red, white, and blue. And I gotta tell you, a quarter of the stock has already <laughs> gone on pre-order. And, you're not going to pay twenty four ninety nine for this. I did hint actually earlier on that there was going <laughs> to be a... I heard your subtle hint. <laughs> there you go, nineteen ninety nine. You are welcome. This is the first time we've ever dropped the price to nineteen ninety nine. You're getting everything that you need in the box to make your wreath. It's a great size too. It's fabulous, isn't it? This would be so cool on the door, hanging in the window. It's polystyrene based, so it's really light. So you can hang this. But it also makes a really cool centerpiece. Maybe put an electric candle. Well, um, I made John Scott one a... Uh, uh, Easter one, an Easter oh, version of this a few years ago. I oh, know you're, you're going to one to one, aren't you? Now did you'll you have know? to let me know your colours. Mm. But John had actually recommended the light that you had on just with Claire for the centre, oh, which fits absolutely. in perfectly. The reverse lamp. I'll grab it and show you. Yeah, it is. It's so cool. Or an electric candle, or something like that. Uh, you get everything that you need in the box to make this. I'm going to pop my uh, uppy downy light. <laughs> <laughs> I do like the name. <laughs> there we go. I actually fancy warm light, so let's just change that around. Never gets old. I love it. So we'll leave that there, and you get everything in the box to make your coronation fabric wreath. So you get your full instructions from Kerry. You also get all of oh, there's loads of fabric, Lots there. Of fabric there. Lots of fabric there. Okay, that's also. Red, white, and blue, of course. You also get your um, polystyrene ring. 
And then you also get a third of the stock's gone, another third in baskets. We're heading towards a sellout. Be quick, check out your basket. This is going to go. Tool. A little dotting tool. Now I remember these from my nail tech days. <laughs> Colours do vary. They do vary. Um, but this is your little, oh, where? And hold it. There's that dotting tool. And you use this to push. Just pushing the fabrics in so I'll show you. It's one of the easiest projects we do and one of the most mindful projects actually. No sewing required. No sewing required. I do have to mention though, um, I didn't make the sample. We have a, a little boy who's helping us with our samples and in particular he likes making the oh. fabric wreaths. And when you say so little, little boy, how old? He's 11 and his name's Ele Carson. Carson. Um, so he's made our wreath today. Carson, if you're watching, Great job. That is gorgeous. It's fabulous, isn't it? It's fab it is fabulous. Well done. So it's something you can get the kids involved with Perfect too. for children. And, and it's just a nice, it's a lovely project. I mean, these are timeless in any colour combination. It looks spectacular, I think, in the red, white and blue. Red, white and blue looks great. It looks lovely. It looks really cool. Really, really happy and zingy. It's terrific. Um, so that great price crash as well, 1999. We've never done that before. But you are welcome. Uh, Stockwise now, how are we doing with that? Oh, fewer than 15 left when you've checked out your baskets. Super happy for everyone who's checked out their baskets and got their wreath. I'm going to leave that to one side. Now then, next up, we've got the coronation bauble. I'm going to just, we're thank going you, I'm going to lift the tree. Well, oh, we were going yeah, for the tree. go on. Coron this is superb. Check this out. How cool is that? Absolutely love it. This is done in bumbleberries, it right? It is, so Lewis, Lewis and I are in bumbleberries. It looks spectacular in those colours. Double-sided, of course. So if you hang this, see, I would hang this in a window. Yeah. Um, and I would hang that up, like on a bit of fishing line or that kind of thing, so it hung in the window. But wherever it twists and turns, it's going to look terrific. You've got that lovely, neat ribbon trim at the top. Again, no sewing required for this really clever innovative technique and Kerry you've done a full video tutorial we of this have, for people who buy the kit we have, right? yeah so we have I mean we've done the patchwork ball ball in several different colorways over the past few years and we get asked quite a lot where can we or what date did you do it so what we've actually done is we've pre-recorded that tutorial now so there is a QR code at the front of the pattern booklet if you have already and um, what we've said is if you've already got one of these kits you're welcome to email me and we'll send you out the link you'll just need to send me your order number I know it's very helpful to have that tutorial there so we are going back through patterns and adding those pre-recorded tutorials to make it even easier that's for awesome you. I love that and you can watch that video again and over again over and over again yeah. fantastic no more hunting for videos now in the kit you get absolutely everything you need to create this fabulous coronation bauble you get a fabric guide for your coronation fabrics you get your full instructions you get gorgeous navy blue ribbon you also get all of your fabrics cut for you this is the bit which i'm absolutely <laughs> loving you get every piece of fabric cut for you so you do not have to start by cut hundreds of squares yeah. you did thousands that. and thousands of squares <laughs> we cut yes could you do them in your sleep <laughs> I, I could definitely do them in my sleep now. i love it and then very importantly you get your polystyrene ball bag of pins did you notice yes. you get your pins you get your polystyrene ball bag of pins you get absolutely everything so no fuss no fuss no muss you can get straight down to it exactly and then you've got the box to keep it in and store it in for whenever you want to of course you do of course you do because you're going to keep this special um quarter of the stock gone quarter of the stock gone and we have big stocks at the moment because we know so many of us are going to be celebrating the coronation of King Charles the third hi Stuart says Julia Northumberland loving your show can you wish my mum Yvonne and twin sister Val a happy 90th birthday for the weekend please thank you Julie that is awesome <laughs> so Yvonne and Val I want to wish you very special people a very happy 90th birthday from everybody here at Sewing Street Woo! Mwah! Mwah! two kisses two kisses
Wow, that's an awesome. That's lovely. That's awesome. I want to know, do Val and Yvonne, are they get on twins or see, my husband's a twin. Oh, of course, He and his yes. sister love each other. They get on really well. But there's a certain kind of, they always have a bit of something. Get, they tease each other. <laughs> they tease each other all the time. You can Much see the 12 year old. Yes, yes. Yeah. When they get together still. Yeah, still, still. <laughs> like teenagers still. squabbling. I love it. The thing they get the, that they mostly um, talk is uh, how many times it took Charlie's sister to pass her driving test. Oh. It still reminds her of that, even though she was 17 when she passed. Oh, yeah. she did much better than me. I waited till I was 25. I was too scared to take the test. Oh, I kept putting 27. It off. Yeah. yeah. Everything Best in that thing box. Did, though. <laughs> Craig wouldn't agree. <laughs> no, of course not. Of course not. Now, next up, we're going to do the the William. Mo oh, yeah, this is so cool. This is so cool. Look, there is. Now, I haven't seen this style before, and I certainly haven't seen these fabrics. There is a William Morris log cabin style bauble. How cool is that? That is superb. Now that would fit into my home right now, but it's also got a little bit of a Christmas vibe oh, to it as yes. well. It would look amazing at Christmas, round. but all year round. All I did year actually round. think of you when I chose that fabric actually did for the you? ball. They're very ball. me. Yeah. yeah. They're very me. Elegant. Very sophisticated. elegant. Very sophisticated. <laughs> very special. I just keep chucking them out there. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. You won't be able it. to walk through the door at the end of the show. <clears throat> it's true. Can I ask a very bold question? Do I get all my fabrics cut for me? So all of these fabrics are cut. I'm going to be completely <sighs> honest. It takes a lot longer yeah. than the other ball ball. So I won't be repeating the William Morris version of these. Oh, understood. So once they're gone, they're You've gone. You've learned your lesson. I've learned my lesson with those <laughs> ones. <laughs> So if you want it easy, I can concur that they take a lot more time. And it's the last time we'll do the William Morris version of this yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. No, it's fab though. So you get all your fabrics cut, you get your polystyrene ball, bag of pins, you get your um, instructions as That's well. Right. Teal and it, ribbon in this one as well. Fab. I love it. It's such a clever technique. I was, funnily enough, I was looking at, uh, we've got another version um in the um studio which uses some solids so you can use the pattern again can't over you over and over and again get it more baubles get more of those uh, i have balls. made a selection of liberty ones for myself from Ooh, my, my scraps they I are beautiful have. they so all look lovely so cool so cool i love it but remember kerry's learned her lesson she's not going to repeat this one got one shot at this so if you want the william morris bauble <laughs> great for any time of year but i think that would look lovely for a sort of traditional christmas as well you will need to get it today because it won't be repeated now if you want some extra pins we do have some bags of pins we've got gold gold i love gold 199 um, these are sold by weight. You don't have Craig counting these, do no, you? No, no counting, and they're 15 grams, perfect for any of the baubles that we've created. Perfect. And these are like short pins, so these aren't sort of dressmaking pins. They're specifically for Sequin pinning pins, things like sequins. Yeah. yeah. So they glide through. So we've tried a variety of different ones when we've been making the kits, but we found that these just, I, I certainly find that they're doing the feedback is that they just glide through the fabric a lot more than the Fab. slightly longer pins. Fab. So that is gold. We've also got silver. Okay, so we'll put the details on screen for the silver. Do we see the pins in you, the... You don't see no. the pins. So, I mean, no, so it doesn't really matter, does it, whether um, you use gold or silver? It doesn't really matter, but for me, it's, it's this, the little details that count to me. So for the, um, the Lewis and Irene one, because there is that gold metallic in there, it's important that we had the oh, gold yeah. pins to coordinate, like even though like you don't that. see them. It's just nice on the eye when you... Yeah when you're actually making them. Cool. But if you're stocking up and you're getting yourself maybe the William Morris and the Coronation Bauble, you might want some extra pins just to make some more because you'll have the patterns to do both the log cabin and the star if you buy both. Now, the Coronation Bauble. Uh, so many of you have checked out your baskets. I want to, I'm going to walk the streets during coronation. I'm going to see how many of you have this hanging in your window. What a great sort of focal point to your window. Or you could hang this above the table if you're having a buffet. Yeah. That would be cool. You could even put this in a, ball, in a bowl on the table with some other, you know what I mean? You could sort of do a little cluster of these. Well over half of the stock has gone. So well done if you've managed to get yours. 
Now, if you want the pattern on its own, we do have that. Um, and I'm saying that, I'm just gonna grab this one right here. You can get the pattern on its own, it's 6 dollars And of course, there is a video tutorial linked to your pattern. Will there be a, there's a link in the pattern itself, right? Yeah, so I just need to mention, cause since we've started putting the QR codes in there, if you've got any of the patterns that feature the QR code, it's really easy to use. You simply hover your camera over the top of that little code. It's like a little black box and it takes you straight through to YouTube. You can only access that if you've got the patterns, um, but we, did, we have had a few emails about that, so I thought it was relevant. Now, if you don't have a camera phone, there is also the link. So there'll be um, a link that you can just type in your search engine as well, which will also take you through to the pre-recorded tutorial. But these tutorials are just for people who've purchased right. the pattern or the kit. Yeah. They are not available on YouTube. No. If you can't search for them, it's a secret club. <laughs> and it's, it's love, club. but it's lovely support for anyone who's bought the pattern today or the kit. But also if you've bought the bauble in the past, yeah. we can get in touch with yes. you. Yeah. With our order number and we can yeah. get the video yeah. which is we're happy awesome. to do that yeah great i love that okay next up bunting bunting now you will have seen i'm sure the fabulous but you can't have a street party without bunting. or a party in the house or garden without bunting right <laughs> you just can't and that's it it's the law uh, a third of the stock has already gone on pre-order this is a cracking price kerry how do you do it can we make all of that so bunting you, with yes. one kick. So that is the full length of your bunting. There is it's five amazing. and a half meters. That's amazing. It's a lot of bunting. Well, I, I'm bunting. like you. I mean, I know we spoke quite a lot about your celebration and your current. You did lots of bunting. <laughs> you did <laughs> a lot of bunting. Just, you're going to make my eye twitch. Don't <laughs> stop it. I did. I did. But I think if you're going to have bunting, you want you want a good a good amount of bunting. So this is five and a half meters inside your kit. You're getting a meter of the, and it's all hundred percent cotton. So you're getting 100 percent cotton a one meter 60 inch wide that is of the white mm -hmm. uh, sorry of the red for the back so i just wanted to have that color on the back as well especially if you're thinking of hanging it for a street party mm -hmm. and then for the three colors we have got that i love the magnetic uh, sorry the Oh, metallic. Metallic, that's the word I'm looking for. The metallic dot. I'm magnetic. That's you metallic. Are. That's <laughs> <laughs> so the. Oh, I've still forgotten it. <laughs> metallic dot that's featuring some of the other kits that we've brought along today. We've added that to the bunting. It's so if you like us and you like it all to coordinate. It's special. Very it's celebration. special. Very special celebration. Yeah. So you've got a fat quarter of the navy with the um, dot, the red. And also, we've just put the plain white in there. I couldn't find a gold dot on white anywhere. But this so. is double-sided, right? This is double-sided, yeah. I love that. And five and a half metres. And inside your kit, there's five and a half metres. Now, do I have binding. to make bias binding? No, nope, because you've got that inside oh, so your included. kit as well. So this oh. is pre-made bias binding in there. Simply scoring that in half and um, sliding your pennants fantastic. inside. When you've checked out your basket, they've all gone. They're technically sold out, okay? Check out your basket. This is the easy way of doing it. For the Jubilee, I made, I think it was around about 120 meters of bunting and it nearly killed me. Yeah, it's hard. It's hard. I actually, when I very first started my <laughs> sewing classes, uh, a mother and daughter came to me and they wanted to make bunting and they were only ever going to come you know it's like two yeah, or three yeah. sessions yes. and they just kept making this bunting for a wedding making this and it was fabulous because it was a memorial one so it had got people's oh, shirts and dresses, oh lovely and they had all different members of the family send it and she said we just had so much fabric arrive in the end they ended up with about 500 meters and it was crazy so when we used wow. to do events we had lots of their bunting as well but i always looked at it and thought I'm glad I didn't have to yeah, make that. Yeah, no. Five metres, very nice. Thank you very much. My party is ready. <laughs> yeah. If you want the instructions on their own, um, you can get the instructions on their own. We'll put the details on screen for that. Six ninety nine. pounds You've got your pattern. Now, I don't have the pattern on its own here, but um, it is just the paper pattern. I'll take it out. I'll take it out. Show you exactly what you're getting. Um, you get the pattern on its own, you get full-sized templates for that, all your instructions. If you've never done any sewing before and you fancy making something, uh, great, this is the way to do it. Amanda's got in touch with a message of support uh, saying, morning, I made 250 metres of bunting for our village for the Jubilee and I've been asked for more for the coronation. 
definitely need to start now. <laughs> my eyes Could going. Could you not reuse? Can you not reuse? I would, yeah. Could you not re mm -hmm. reuse? Mm -hmm. Reloved? I just, you know, I was making it and I was thinking, gosh, this is going to be enough to zigzag all the way down the village, you know. And I think, 100 metres? Isn't that something? Can't you, Usain Bolt, run that in about seven and a half seconds? <laughs> Took I me can't about do it seven, seven and a half, half seconds. <laughs> I would have been with you thinking it would go all the way in the village. In the next end, I was like... A, next time, pick a tree. Just yeah, do a tree. Yeah. Any tree. We can in the have end, I was like, and bunting. can I just crawl on my hands and knees for 100 metres and we'll just call it a day? But this absolutely perfect to put over a table in the house for a party in the garden contribute towards the contribute. bunting for your town or village or your street party but yeah just don't volunteer to do the whole thing would be my advice now that is technically sold out if you do have it in your basket check it out really quick it's fastest fingers all right um last thing that we've got from kerry before we go to demo <laughs> this is possibly my favorite thing it's the brooch the double flower brooch now we've got two options and i'm just going to i've got the um liberté version which i'm just gonna this is so awesome check that out isn't that superb that is a thing of loveliness. This is the Liberty version. You're kidding me, 12 99 for a Liberty brooch. That is gorgeous. You could put that on a hat, a bag, a coat lapel, a jacket lapel. You could wear that to church. Definitely. I think it's fab. Je m'appelle the lapel. <laughs> Isn't that gorgeous? Can I have what you have for breakfast, please? <laughs> <laughs> I had a whole lot of nothing. No, actually, I didn't. I didn't actually. I did go for breakfast. Did you? Was You've got nice? to write it down, haven't you? <laughs> and I was loving it. I've got to be honest. I did loving it. Yeah. Sorry, everyone. I've let myself down. This gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. This is the Liberty version. Now, you get everything in your kit you've got your full pattern which you can make again and again you've got all of your lovely fabrics look at all of these you've got wiltshire shadow in there or is that emily bell that's wiltshire shadow, wiltshire shadow which i love that's emily. emily bell and then you've got this one here which is the wiltshire shadow but gold metallic metallic i didn't even know they did oh, that it's absolutely i was so excited every time um anybody brings out metallic fabric because i just love mm -hmm. metallic fabrics but the metallics in these for the baubles and the brooches are just spectacular just adds that little bit of glitz and glamour Absolutely. doesn't it we've got our brooch pin we've got felt to put on the back of our brooch to secure the pin we've also got our coverable button as well so you've got absolutely everything there just add some thread and a hand needle that's it hand sewing needle and you've got your whole thing 12.99 that is a cracking price fewer than 20 left fewer than 20 left so that is the liberty version we've also got a lewis and irene version i'm going to get these fabrics out because they are so gorgeous you've got that red in there you've also got that silver gray and this regal purple Purple's been added in, hasn't it, for oh, the coronation, yeah, love it. which is just glorious. Look at those fabrics. They are superb. And just gorgeous with that golden crown picked out, or different types of crown. You've got your felt, brooch pin, and your coverable button. Those are really easy to use, aren't they? Very easy. And the steps are in the pattern, yeah. I'm Great. going to show you how to do that as is well. Is there today. a little QR code video? Not, that goes? For, this Not one. for this one. Not for this one. Okay, but we get full instructions in there, full size templates, no photocopying required. You can just crack straight on and make your double flower brooch to or, celebrate the or coronation. If you had an additional brooch and flower, you could make two different size brooches because effectively that's all it is. So oh, you can yeah. make two different brooches, yeah. coordinating. Yeah. One for me, one for you, Stuart. Fan, I want double. <laughs> you want double. <laughs> I want a double. I want it all. I have to say I want double as well. Yeah, fair <laughs> enough. Fair enough. We'll get one kit each. Now, if you want the pattern on its own, we've absolutely got you covered. We've got the double flower brooch pattern on its own for 6 99 
Oh, we've also got coverable buttons and brooch pins available on their own. So if you want to make multiples, I think this is the kind of thing I could see whole families wearing these yeah. for coronation. So this is the pattern on its own, 6 99 So grab your pattern. Um, I do not have coverable buttons on the table. They're just at, just at the side of you, just by the iPad. Oh, That's sorry, I do have them by the side of me. So we've put the steps I know in there as well, how to do it. So if oh, you, if, once you open cool. it, there's your step by step great. for the button. Great. So we've got two, five coverable buttons in a pack with full instructions on how to use them to make covered buttons. That's cool. I like that. One ninety nine for those. And I've also got a pack of five brooch pins. Again, from Living in Loveliness, five brooch pins. So actually, 179, that's awesome. I'd be getting those and those. Or if you're already buying a kit, if you get that, then all you've got to do is grab some extra fabric, bit of extra felt, and you could make six brooches. Yep. Or if you've got your bunting kit and you want to forfeit three pennants, you've oh, got your fabric in there. Amazing. Amazing. Yeah, you could do really nice red, white and blue ones, couldn't you? I love it. I love it. So clever. Right, Kerry. Shall we play? Let's play. <laughs> Let's start. Where are we going to start? Shall we have a little look at the wreath? Let's because that's the wreath. definitely the easiest one to go for. Cool. Now, you can absolutely cut this using a rotary cutter and ruler, if that's your preferred method. Um, you know, you can even get those nice little... Um, rotary cutters with the serrated edges on there but I'm old school and I really like using pinking shears it's so incredibly easy to do and this is a nice lightweight fabric so you know we're even folding this up here so it's nice and speedy to cut oh, into so you fold. fold it and cut through fold it and cut through six of these kits left that's it and then they're gone just so six left then we're trimming these down oh made that look a bit difficult there so I've already prepped these piles over here and again we're just simply cutting these down. Now, the pattern will say to cut these to about two inches, but it really does not matter. It gives it that additional texture on there. So approximately, we like approximately in this particular project. We like approximately in any project. We, we can do. get away with it, so, Kerry. Some we can't though, can we? <laughs> but this one we certainly can. I like anything where we can get away with things. So then what we're doing now, in the pattern booklet, I do recommend um, using, we're sliding this way. So I do recommend using a, a PVA glue Subtle. and that's to secure them in. The reason that I recommend that is obviously with your heating in the house, sometimes the polystyrene over time can shrink a little bit. So in that case, all you would do is take one of your squares, pop it into your hand, take your little dotting tool here. Now on each dotting tool, you'll have two different sizes. Choose the side with the largest little ball on there. Then we're popping this into the corner, folding this across, pinching it down and then pushing into the polystyrene. Easy and as that. it's as simple as that. So what would you do, like sort of, sort of push it and dunk it in a That's bit of PVA right. first? So if you're using the PVA, just pop Little it into dip. your PVA. And it really is, so I tend to, and when I've run this as workshops, just a little, um, a, a tiny little Guess plate go, if you Carrie. like. There Guess you go. go. I want to go, that looks like so much fun. It is a lot of fun. That looks like a whole I lot knew, of fun. I knew you wouldn't stand back for very no, long. No, I, I know it's awful, involved. isn't it? But I'm just like, wow, that looks like... Get no, the, in. That's it. And you can't go wrong with this. I mean, if you've got your pink and shears, and if any end up sticking up and you're not particularly happy with them, you can give that a little trim thereafter. And you're simply alternating the colours and popping them in. If you find you've got a section and there's a little bit too much crowding going on with a white, pop another red one in. But what I would recommend with this is starting with a section and work section at a time. So start bringing it down into the middle here and okay, then miss. work out. And the reason for that is as you, when, once you've created that full um, project, it starts getting quite clusters as you work around. So work from the center and then out. This is too much fun. It's a lot of fun, isn't it? This is a snow day project. <laughs> it's today's project. It's today's isn't it? project. If it we really get is. Stuck, I have spare kits. Fantastic. <laughs> uh, We've got a quilt. We've got a few quilts around. We'll be absolutely we do. fine. We'll keep warm. Susan's I got in touch <laughs> to say, Love Kerry's nails. Show us the nail. Look at that. Look. <laughs> Pop them in. we got coronation nails. Thought we'd. Uh, you know, be Those on. are so cool. I love them. <laughs> well, this is great fun. I love it. 
So another message across the bottom. You can read this one. Oh, I can't see that right. Good morning, Stuart and Kerry. You both look lovely. I absolutely adore these coronation kits. Thank you for your message to Carson from Chrissy in the West oh, Midlands. Oh, lovely. Oh, <laughs> it is top job, actually. Yeah. And you can see why he enjoys doing this. You're not kidding. I love it. I'll leave you to carry on. <laughs> Uh, Chrissy says, good morning, Stuart and Kerry. Hope you're nice and warm. It's lovely and white outside. I think it's really warm in the studio today. It's gorgeous, isn't it? I think Absolutely it's really fab. warm. Absolutely fab. So the wreath's about to sell out. Let's move on. Let's, Let's look go. at the coronation bauble. Now, I have the coronation bauble right here. What a statement to either hang from the mantelpiece. You could hang this on a doorknob. <laughs> You could attach a bit of something like strong fishing line and hang this in the window. Um, you could, if you've got one of these little trees, these are fab, aren't they? I love these. You could make a whole load of them and hang them up on the twigs. That is so cool. Love it. Double-sided, of course. Do they call, what, what do they call this folding technique? Is it Somerset patchwork yeah. or, yeah? So clever, isn't it? So it clever. It just looks lovely on any project, really, on a cushion, on a bag, but on the baubles, I think it's really special. We, we did these for the Jubilee as well. So special. you might have the, um, the Jubilee, we did these in purples and silvers last year. So it's quite Beautiful. nice to have the two side by side. So this is in red and blue with that regal gold bumbleberries from Lewis it. and Irene. Absolutely love bumbleberries. And in particular, I love the gold. I really like a metallic fabric anyway. Mm -hmm. So it's a really nice, easy technique. I have got ahead and sort of prepped these ones to show you in a little while. But all you're going to do is take one of your gold pieces. Now we have put a breakdown of which order, but you'll be able to see that from the front booklet anyway but for your first two pieces you're simply going to fold these in half so wrong side facing you fold these in half and finger press we're then going to fold again and just finger press and what we're doing is looking for the center of that fabric so I'll repeat this on the second one so again folding and pressing to find that center now only two end up without a pin in there and then what I've done here is gone ahead and folded all the other ones. So for the first two, we don't have any pins in there. And for the rest of your pack, so you can sit and do this all together, is just open these up. We're looking for the center of that fabric. And then we're simply going to take one of the pins and slide that through that center point. So we'll do that on all of the fabrics. And do you push the pin in from the back out That's right. or from the... So from the wrong side of the fabric, you're taking a pin, sliding it through that centre point, and then we can just make ourselves four piles, if you like. So I've okay. already got these on. So I've got my red, my blue and my gold. So I'll just finish these ones off. I can't believe that the kits come with pre-cut squares. Yes, we've always done the pre-cut squares. I think that's what makes it so uh, good. It's always quite nice when somebody else does the preparation it really in any is. project, but in particular this one. Yeah. So we're going to take our ball ball and what you'll notice is there'll be a marking on one side. Some of the balls come and they've got um, a seam like um, a cross on the top if you like if you've had some of the kits in the past but we are finding our latest ones are not coming with that little indentation in there but it's really easy to find your center so find the seam there's like a little seam around the ball ball you'll only be able to see that when you've got it in front of you and then you've got a little circle on top what we're going to do here is just do a cross or a little kiss pinch the opposite side and repeat the same but make sure that kiss is the same way that's really important to stop a twist in the ball ball now a cup a mug or i've got a little cup here is perfect for just holding this in place otherwise you find it just rolls around and then what we're going to do is take that center cross so if i just bring that here and we're lining this this kiss with this kiss here it's a lot of kisses a lot of kissing a lot of, love. Lot of kissing there <laughs> a lot of kissing going on <laughs> and then we're going to pin so I find it easier to stretch the fabric by working opposite sides those are good nails <laughs> did you do those I did yeah um, 
Craig's trying to find ways to make me sit and relax. Okay, good luck with that, Craig. <laughs> Have you learned his lesson no, by now? No, you, you'd have thought after all these years. <laughs> it, see, the thing is, if I'm busy, Craig knows he gets tagged along in whatever it is that we're right, up to. So if yeah. I sit and relax, he can he sit, can and, sit relax. and relax. Yes. <laughs> so yeah, he bought me this okay. little nail set for Christmas, and I am really enjoyed learning how to do it with my daughter. Actually, uh -huh. so then we find in the centre, so where the centre of that fabric is, taking one of your gold squares and pushing this through the centre. Now. You want the raw edge to line up with that first square, taking the right side and bringing this to the bottom, and then pushing the pins in. Now I've said there's gold pins in the kit, and there is. I've just managed to pick up a pack of silver ones, but yours do have gold. But you don't pins even in. see the pins anyway. You don't so see them anyway. Fewer than twenty of the bauble remain. So we're basically doing the same. I'm really enjoying the watching the, the technique the same on both sides. Now working on the opposite side, we're going to take the second piece, push the pin into the center, line that up pretty much, don't worry if it's overhanging a little bit, right side down to the bottom to create your first triangle. And once you've done four or five of these squares, that technique is sort of ingrained and it makes it mm. much easier to work around. This is that sit around the Left. table, I, you know, by yourself or with a yeah. pal or a group of you, and you know, a hot chocolate Ooh. or a little cuppa or Ooh, a little yeah. glass of, and just chat. Whichever your preference. Relax and enjoy. I'm all for hot chocolate at the Ooh, moment. Yeah. <laughs> Marshmallows on top. Oh, yeah, and cream. Cream. All That's the good Charlie's stuff. favourite. Oh, Margaret's got in touch. This is nice. This is a different celebration, but a very important one. Margaret says, hello all at Sewing Street. I just wanted to say a big thank you for the birthday badge, which came yesterday. You are officially wonderful. Oh, oh how lovely. That's so lovely. Thank you, Margaret. Um, Susie Duncan's also got in touch. Our lovely Susie. Love a celebration. Definitely agree. Metallic fabrics make the fabulous projects extra special. Love it. Yes, we do they share do, our though. love for Liberty, me love and Liberty Susie. And Metallic. And Metallics. Uh, Julie, who's in Monmouthshire, says, Morning, Kerry and Stuart. Yay, I got my coronation bauble. Had to be done to go with my Jubilee bauble. Love you two together. Take care, <laughs> says Jules, who's in South Wales. Oh, thank you. I love being with Kerry. I love being with you. Oh, too. thank you, sweetie. We, we do have a lovely time, don't we? We have a lot of fun. <laughs> Oh, we do. Norma in Cheshire's got in touch to say, Morning, Stuart and Kerry. Uh, snow has stopped play. Aww. Sewing class cancelled. Boo hiss. So I'm settling in to watch Hooray with a hot drink, Norma and crew. You can sew at home, Norma. Yeah, you can. Get definitely. out that machine and sew at home. It is yeah. really, it does, does stop a lot, the snow. It has yeah. a lot to be... Um, to be answerable yeah for, oh gosh it? snow stopping sewing class no. um not happy so what we're going to do now so what i've done is i've put the four on the top i'm always working at opposites it makes it easier to work on the next row of layers now the measurements are in your pattern booklet but i tend to just use my little fingernail and i'm lining that up on my little finger with that center point taking one of the blue fabrics and popping this in the center so it's important that that sits in the center seam there now we've got this technique we're simply just folding both pieces down and pinning in all four spots so hold that in together one two three and four for your pins mm -hmm. and this is really where you pick up rhythm i mean we're moving quite speedy when we do the demos here for you but when you're at home as you say with your hot chocolate and you catch mm. up with your friends and it's a nice one actually if you're snowed in and you're doing a project um together then you know you can walk away from this or get distracted with a chit chat and laughter and come back to it and it's not difficult to remember cool. where you're at with this one. Mm -hmm. So then we're coming back onto the opposite side and repeating the same technique. So little finger. Little finger, pinning that centre fold there and then folding across. And if we've got particularly large little fingers, I don't suppose you can really call it a little finger then, can you? Well, no, but we we have, we have, well, yes, very true. What you'll find happens. it doesn't happens, matter. It doesn't matter. Um, <laughs> what you'll find um, is exactly that, Stuart. You might have smaller fingers than, mine are quite big. I realise I've got quite big hands. Um, you have not. I have, I have. And I realised recently, I don't know what made me realise, my hands are two different sizes. Oh, let me see. Let me see. Oh, yeah. 
I you're know. Like, you're your own twin. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you, one of your feet's supposed to be bigger, but my hands Gosh. are different. I don't know what made me realise that, but I only learned that this year about myself. I think my daughter wow. noticed it actually. Oh yeah. I think Ki she noticed. Kids will tell you, won't they? <laughs> Every <Yeah>. time. <laughs> nice, thank you. So then we're coming on to the opposite sides and working on this one. Yeah, she does tell me some lovely things, does our thanks, little bunny. Thanks, thanks. <laughs> your hands are different sizes, Mum. <laughs> <laughs> but how have I gone my whole life and not known until you told me? Yeah, yeah. No, I think we were trying rings on. I think that's how we noticed oh, okay. something like that. I realised once, actually, I was on air doing a live show and I, re and I looked and one of my eyes looked black and one looked blue. And I, when I, after the show, I looked in the mirror and one of my pupils was huge and one of the others was small, which is a really bad sign. Oh. And I ended up going to the optician and then to the doctors and they sent me straight to the hospital. It was all really scary. And after three days of having various tests, scans, all sorts, the, um, the um, eye doctor said to me, you're just weird. <laughs> <laughs> and I've that never, honestly, because it can be the sign of something really serious and scary, and it usually is. And he said to me, I'm really happy to tell you you're just weird. And I've never been happier to be just weird. You can take that if you're walking I'll away and it. you're healthy. I take it, yeah. I take that one. Yeah. So now we've got the Oh, that looks pretty. Four. So you can see already here, you've got that lovely star going on. And I do keep thinking I'll have a little bit of a play and come up with that another one. That looks so pretty. It looks fab, doesn't it, with the centre gold there. Mm, fewer now, than 20 kits left. Now, to create the ball ball that is in your kit, yes. what you're then doing is exactly the same technique. Finger in the centre where that pin is, pushing the pin through and then folding in exactly the same and you can see the points coming through now we've made these in christmas fabric so many times mm -hmm. but i just think with that gold in the center oh it's regal and beautiful it's absolutely gorgeous um they remind me of and i'm going to give them the wrong name you know the japanese i'm going to say umami balls but they're not umami at all <laughs> that's that's like marmite isn't it that's umami <laughs> But so, oh, mama and toast, yum. Pot of tea, you lovely. Um, no, I'm not a mama. <laughs> Are you a hater? I'm, I'm not a fan. I'm, I'm married a fan. to a hater. It's I'm not a fan. In fact, it's been so long. Maybe I've changed because you cha your taste buds do change. But the yeah. thought Ooh, doesn't appeal to me. I might toast, cup of tea. <laughs> Food of champions, that. <laughs> um, but yeah, I can't remember what they're called. Umari. Umari balls, but anyway, decorative balls. And these just look lovely in a bowl, yes, don't they? I know what you mean. I, I couldn't tell you what the name is. No. But yeah, you're absolutely right. They would look fabulous, wouldn't they? Mm. Just a select, I've got just lots of these of now. I've got lots of them in different color ways. Oh, uh, we've, of we've had that message them. from Norma. Done it, done it. Barbara's got in touch. Barb, loving these projects, but oh my, Kerry, your beautiful rings and nails. Wish mine were as lovely. <laughs> Stuart, you just make me smile. <laughs> Thank you, Barb. Do you know what the problem is, though? I'm having I'm a... just weird. I'm having a... You're not at all. Well, the doctor <laughs> well, says... No, the it's doctor official. Said you are. It's actually on my medical records now, <laughs> Kerry. I'm just weird. Have you asked for a copy so you can read it? I want it on a T-shirt. <laughs> I'm sure we could rustle something up between the two of us. I'm sure we could oh, absolutely do, do that. Know, no, I mean, goodness me, the doctor, what a, what a fabulous, fabulous um, chap he was. And uh, yeah, I couldn't have been happier. <laughs> it is nice to get that news, especially when you're worried. Yeah, but he was the kind of doctor that, you know, it wouldn't have really mattered. He was just terrific. Oh, thank you, collector in Merthyr Tidville. They're Tamari balls. Thank yes, you. Yes, Loving the did, show. Did you say anything like that? Umami. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Umami, Tamari, it's just, it's not dissimilar, it's is it? It's a bit like my Thank singing. I've told you about my song words. I make up my own. You're making up your own thing for those now. Yeah, yeah. yeah we so should definitely do a duet sometime. We should definitely do a duet. So what I was saying, I've, I'm having a bit of a problem with my nails because since I've been doing... The, let me just show you actually where we're at with this one. Yeah. So I'm now moving on to the red. Mm -hmm. So you'll naturally see here those four fabrics that are the the bottom layer, if you like. Yep. So we're going back to the bottom layer, same technique, same measurement, and then popping on. And it really is the second layer, or mm -hmm. sorry, third layer that makes that star pop. I mean, it's looking fabulous already it with is. the gold metallic in the middle, but it really is when we put that third layer on that it really pops out. So we start from there, measure a little finger's width back. 
And then fold. And then fold. Is there a measurement in the pattern? There is a measurement in the pattern, gotcha. yeah. So if you're, I'm very much by eye with projects like this, most projects actually, um, but for, if you like to have it exact mm -hmm. and you want to use a ruler and measure it, yep. the photos and the measurement are in your pattern. Well, you could even well. cut a little bit of cardboard, couldn't you? Yeah. Like a little cardboard guide to hold it up. Leads to let you know the pattern on its own is available, but... Oh, the kit's about to sell out. The pattern on its own. Is it five we've got left for the pattern? Five? Oh, five of the kits left. Five of the kits left, that's all, and then that is sold out. We've got the pattern on its own for $6.99. We've also got the pins. Now you can choose between silver and gold. Let's go with gold first. Gold finger. He loves only gold. $1.99. And then silver. And then if you want to do something completely different, what about the William Morris Log Cabin. Now this is a limited edition, I think it's fair to say. <laughs> limited by Kerry's patience and ability to cut the fabric, <laughs> which has run out apparently, hasn't it? Uh, yeah, well, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, yes, yep. let's say yes. Let's say yes. But I can cut four times the amount of these ones in the time that the William Understood. Morris one design took. So Understood. if you want it cut, yep. they're the only ones available. Yep. Nine of these left. So everything comes pre-cut. This is why Kerry said too labor intensive for her to produce again. So these are the last of the log cabin kits. You get everything cut out ready for you. You go straight to the sewing, straight to the sewing. To the um, pinning, straight to the pinning. We're only pinning. Of course you are, pinning, yeah. no sewing required. <laughs> sorry, sorry, I was, do you know, you're this, thinking about your journey with your No, I was just proving that men can't multitask because <laughs> I was reading a message and speaking at the same time. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. Um, <laughs> not for me anyway. Yep, no sewing required. This is pinning, folding and pinning. But this is the last of the William Morris and we almost certainly will not see that again. A message, I can do this, I can do this. I've been looking forward to seeing this bauble for days. It hasn't disappointed. Oh, and I loved my William Morris one. This is from Elizabeth, who's in Merseyside. Oh, how lovely. Gorgeous. Um, Sue's just commenting about... Um, uh, mothers and daughters, mothers and sons. Um, have you seen Jen Brister? I haven't. I'm going to look her up. Um, she said, mums and sons, all kisses and darlings. Mums and daughters, you look fat in that. <laughs> Shall I tell you a story Please about do. Honey, what she did to me? Please do. So I have this, I'm not so bad now. I had to have um, a thing called, you might have heard of it, tapping technique. Oh yeah, I've heard of tapping. Tapping therapy mm -hmm. to overcome my irrational, like ridiculously irrational fear of spiders. I was really, really bad. Um, and anyway, so because I had, and this was when I had this fear, Honey had come into the bedroom. She must have been five or six. And she stood at the side of the bed going, Ugh, what's that, mom? Ugh, what's that? And she started pointing at my chin. Mm -hmm. And I sort of panicked and was like, oh, what is it? What is it? it thinking spider. it was a spider yep. on me. And I sat up, sprung up, and she said, what is that? And I said, what? And she said, that. I said, it's my chin. <laughs> she said, why do you have two? <laughs> I was fast asleep. Why do you have two? And Craig was sort uh, of laughing. And I said, why do you need to go and pack your bags? <laughs> I said, <laughs> Because I'm very lucky. And she said, I don't want to be lucky. <laughs> That's the kind of oh. thing. I mean, if she ever watches this back, she'll be so cross with me for telling. But that really, like, <laughs> jumped me out of bed. And she's like, oh, I don't want to. I don't want two chins. No, no. <laughs> oh, children, eh? Bless them. Uh, hi, Stuart and Kerry, says Maureen in Derbyshire. Uh, could you tell me how many baubles could you make with a bag of pins? I think I've always said how many pins are there. I'm not counting them. Thinking of doing it with the church group from Maureen. One, one bag, bag of pins. Per, per bauble. One bauble. That's right. One bag of pins, one bauble. You use a lot of pins for you this, lose don't a, you? You use a lot of pins. And if you're like me, you know, you may drop a few of those. So there's plenty of those there. I mean, if you're thinking... I would still recommend one. You could yeah. maybe stretch them out a little bit. And if you wanted to stretch them further, you know, you could 
take one out as you move along but for a group and for ease oh, no. and speed 199 a bag, a bag. Yeah, yeah yeah you you're making this and it's going to last you for years and years if you take care of it so i would say do it right from the start yeah bag of pins per bauble now the bunting kit sold out well done we do have instructions on their own if you would like them i'm going to grab the instructions you get full size templates for your bunting triangles you get full instructions and this is a really lovely i would say if you've never done any sewing before and it's interesting actually the, a lot of people it's their always, first thing yeah whenever yeah. i do a beginner's class it's always bunting yeah. bunting and a little pin cushion heart yeah. but bunting always you get full instructions photographic tutorial throughout really detailed how to prepare everything space for notes in the back as well what you require and then you also get your full template as well you don't have to photocopy or enlarge anything um, and also some just general good sewing advice from living in loveliness as well really so that you get fantastic professional results you'll be proud yeah. of and this is the kind of bunting actually that you'll i mean the red white and blue you'll bring out again and again but also bunting you can make it for so many celebrations yeah. can't you I, I don't think you can have a celebration without bunting to be honest i absolutely love really? bunting it's just quite nice and as we think now you know we're heading out to warmer weather it's nice to have a splash of color just along the oh it's panels in the garden it's lovely it can really sort of add a bit of charm and a bit of you know we're having a party <laughs> yes. yeah i love it i love it definitely so i just wanted to finish the third layer on the bauble ball to show you that that's really where you start to see this pop we have got a fourth layer to put on here and for the kits i chose the um the blue as well of the bumbleberries and to complete your bauble ball ball, you're simply going to repeat the the same on the opposite side remembering that we scored that little kiss there and you're following the same technique and to finish off we're just wrapping that beautiful satin navy ribbon around the ball ball and we're ready to celebrate and it's hang fab. wherever you've chosen it's... a lovely story about a child i mean i mean already sue saying oh my goodness kerry i can't breathe <laughs> um but now this okay so that's Lisa... what happened to me because i thought there was a spider on me <laughs> i bet lisa from leicestershire says when my son was a toddler he came up behind me gave me the biggest cuddle <laughs> and said mummy your bottom is huge <laughs> oh <laughs> good <laughs> Oh, I could be here all day with stories. I mean, they, you know, sometimes they can do so much for your confidence. And then other times, you know, you're having one of those days, you think, I feel fabulous. And no. they come along and they say something to you. And you're like, yeah, back to reality. And kids do focus <laughs> on some very strange little details in life. They see the detail, they focus in on something I mean, I'm small. aware of my second chin. It's always been there. I've come I, to terms with it. Yeah. I didn't need it prodding and poking and know, pointing out. Pointing out. out. <laughs> yeah, pointing out. Thank you, honey. Now then, <laughs> cover so, me a button. So are we doing the... Are we do, so if I yeah, show you... let's do the flower Let brooch. me show you how to do the flower, flower oh, brooch. Oh, the kit's we'll, sold out. Liberty sold out, so we're going to focus in on the Lewis and Irene. That's what you're going to show us now. And that's the one that I'm going to show you. Gorgeous. So we'll start with this, um, with any one of your circles, but we're alternating the colours. Now, your diagram has got your folding um, pattern there just to help you with that one. But what we're going to do is take one side of the fabric, wrong side of the fabric, fold this in half, and then into a little quarter here. And it's simply that technique all the way through so what we're doing then now i've put you need you need a strong thread or what i've done with this thread that i've got here is put threaded it twice if you like so there's four um pieces of thread on oh, there okay yeah and i'm pulling this almost all the way through then just dropping the needle back through the center of those threads just to anchor that on because i'm going to pull on this in just a little while so about an eighth of an inch from that raw edge i'm just using a running stitch and just folding that back and forth onto the fabric and then pulling this through we'll take our second color so i'll go for the gray again folding this in half into a quarter and just finger pressing not too tight because we want this to uh, pop out and show that flower in just a moment and then we're placing this on top. So that section where it didn't have the double fold, we're placing this on top. And again, 
just folding that fabric, running stitch on here. I'm doing it quite speedy because of time. Mm -hmm. Pushing this through and pulling that through your fabrics. You can all already see really those petals starting mm. to form. Take your third piece, fold on top. Oh, you overlap them, And I that's see. what we do each time, just simply ah. overlapping and securing all of these together. And we're doing that with all six circles mm -hmm. or all six petals. So these are the big circles. These for the are the outer. large circles. Mm -hmm. And you're doing exactly the same on the smaller one. Mm -hmm. So taking, a, started with the purple. So again, into that same technique, slotting that on top and sewing. It's quite nice with the injection of purple isn't it? Oh I love the purple. It's really regal yeah. and rich and it is a colour associated with royalty isn't it purple? Definitely. I think originally like in ancient Rome I think it was only the emperor was allowed to wear purple. Oh really? Yeah. Well, when you've made your brooch. I know, look at me. Um, I was uh, thinking back actually the other day, I was reminiscing about the Silver Jubilee. Oh. Um, oh. Way before you were born, my love, way before you were born. I went, oh yeah, no, no, yeah, no, <laughs> no. no, no I can't. But I remember we were all given a mug. You were given school, one? We were given oh, a mug. Every you school still child it? in the country, I do some way, yeah. Every single child in the country was given a, car, um, a Jubilee mug at school. And, um, and I seem to remember as well, I don't know if it was then or whether it was later, but we were given something like a 50 pence piece, a special 50 pence piece or a, well, that doesn't a, a coin now. of some kind anyway. Mm. We have to send three pound in for Chase to pick a pencil or a sharpener when oh. he comes around. <laughs> Some, something yeah. like that now. Times are a little tighter now, aren't they? <laughs> yeah. Yes, things are a little... Mm, oh. So, all I've done is I've overlapped the last petal on top and you can see already that these are pushing through, oh, so they're all cool. secured together. And the reason that we have that, that strong thread there is as we pull this together now, if I can get a hold of it, you can see that this starts together, nice and gentle, otherwise you'll snap your thread. Mm -hmm. And then as you push this out. Oh, look at that. There is your little flower brush. That's so cool. That's a really cool technique. I like that a lot. There we go. So there is your flower brooch. Mm -hmm. Now you can make just the one of these, of course, pop your button on there, or you could, of course, as it's intended, go on and make your additional one. So it's really, really special. I mean, normally when I made these in the past, I'd do a single one, but mm. because of the occasion, um, it deserves a, yeah. a really, really lovely big, a big flower there. I'm thinking as well, you could, you could get um, like an Alice band, couldn't you? Or yes. a hair clip yep. and you could put one or two or three on yep. and actually make yourself a coronation fascinator. Yes, I love that. Yeah. Well, I'm ready fun. now. I'm ready for my celebration. So, I've got these. so what are you doing for <laughs> the coronation? We'll we'll have a we live in a little cul-de-sac, so we'll and um, the village tends to get involved in everything, nice. so it'll be lots of same as what we did really for the jubilee. You know, it'll be street parties, Ace. and I won't contribute any cakes. I'll take the sandwiches along. I'm good at the sandwiches, <laughs> not the cakes or the tea. <laughs> oh no! Don't offer to make the tea. I love you, but yeah, just and, not your tea. Yeah. <laughs> Five metres of bunting. We're done. There Thank we go. We're we'll stretched to five and a half. We've oh, got five, five and, and a half. half. Of course it <laughs> We're ready now. <laughs> of course it is. Um, a lovely uh, uh, message to end on. It was a Jubilee crown, an extra large coin. I still have mine. Oh. That's it. It was. It was. Thank you for that. Yeah. Yeah. We were flush in those days. They were just giving them out. <laughs> yeah. Lisa from Leicester, she says, I remember the Silver Jubilee and we were given a coin. I still have it. I wish I was that good at keeping things like that, you know. I know, I know. But yeah, oh, uh, really well, collectible. Not, I do collect things. I am very sentimental. I keep things. You have to be there to get it. You weren't Well, born. yes, I won't have those. But I just, I'm always impressed when people have stored things so special for so yeah. long. Mine will be somewhere. I have a stamp collection that I collected a long time ago. Yeah. Mm, I know where that is. 
<laughs> Kerry, what a lovely hour. Thank you so Thank much you for that. Much. We've had a great time. I'm getting excited about the coronation. Uh, we're going to go to a little break. We do have more from you we later. Do? This I'm in love Let me with. Out of the way. This is the crowned with diamonds. It is. You've got your little double diamond. It is awesome. Here. Awesome. You're going to show us how to I'll make that. I'll show you how to make that in 11? the next hour. 11 o'clock. I love it. See you there. I love it. We'll see you there. And I'll see you after the break. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy myself an overlocker. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favorite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. 
Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. If you're a Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Hello, welcome back. We're having the right old time here. I think it might be the snow. Now, listen, this hour, we've got a gorgeous fabric collection to share with you with a new panel. You're gonna love it. We've also got, I brought back the early bird because we've still got a little bit in stock. And this is something which I know you're gonna love. It's Bosal in our form, double-sided fusible foam. This is one of my absolute hero products and it's our early bird today. Normal price for a half meter should be 11.99, but today it's our early bird. So you're getting this huge piece for just 9.99. Now it's fusible on both sides. You've got a foam core inside. If you've never used in our form before, it's really soft, it's really flexible, and um, so, so easy to sew. It provides great structure, but softly structured, so you can make tote bags and um, uh, picnic bags. You can create attaches, messenger bags, purses, glasses, cases. It also, because it's a foam, it provides a bit of protection as well to whatever's inside. So if you're making a little sunglasses case, if you're making a laptop cover, you just got that little bit of extra cushioning. I used it ever such a lot in my book, Bags for Life. So if you've got that, you'll know in our form is one of your essential products. Now this is a half meter piece by 150 centimeters wide. So it's a really decent sized piece there. Um, if you recently bought my rainbow is my favorite color messenger bag, you need half a meter of fusible in our form. This is the product right here. Now it's fusible on both sides. So what you would do is if you're fusing just the top fabric, you want to put something like a piece of baking parchment or baking paper down on your ironing board first, then put your interfacing on top fabric on top of that and then iron it in place. To be honest with you, the baking parchment underneath is a little bit belt and braces. That You shouldn't get so much heat going through that this would fuse to your ironing board, but it's a little safety net. Um, go in with minimal heat. You just want enough heat, like a two spot is fine. Minimal heat to attach it to your fabric. You shouldn't need to use steam either. 
um, fuse your top layer in place then you can make up your bag make a separate lining and drop it in and finish your bag that way if you want the lining then to be really neat and flat inside your bag go in with a travel iron they're the easiest thing you can get in really easily and actually fuse the lining to the bosal in our form now if you'd rather you can layer your top fabric and your lining fabric both with the right sides facing outwards fuse everything together make up your bag then you will have your raw seams inside your bag and then what you do is turn the bag through so the linings on the outside and use either ready-made bias binding or make your own bias binding and bind all of your seams if you've ever worked with a patterns by annie bag pattern that is exactly what she does for pretty much all her bags and what effect you get there is you get a beautiful neat outside of your bag but also your lining is absolutely tight flush to the inside of your bag so if when you look inside your bag you want that really super neat appearance really fitted lining no bagginess no looseness go for double sided in our form it's become such a hero product for bosal that most people just call this Bosal, even though it's not the name of the product, it's the name of the company. Uh, I love it. I absolutely love it. I couldn't craft without it. You can also use this for table runners and placemats, and it's really good for that. It's not heat reflective in any way, so um, you don't want to put like a you know a hot metal casserole dish on top of this and expect it to protect your table but for things like table runners and placemats things like that you'll get a lovely structure a lovely bit of spring quilting shows beautifully on in our form as well um, yeah and it's super easy to sew you don't need to use a walking foot for construction I would use a walking foot for straight line quilting but only for the same reason that I would use it for quilting anything um, it just stops the fabric wrinkling um, but for yeah really really easy to sew when you're constructing with this use clips rather than pins they'll go through much much easier that's our early bird from today it's just 9.99 all right now let's have a look at this fabric collection it is called geo collection <laughs> the Oh, so the Neo Geo. I like that, the Neo Geo. Now we're going to start with the panel. Now we've got a fantastic picture of this panel. Let me just show you this first of all. The picture shows you what it looks like as a whole thing. Do we have the picture of the whole panel? Oh, thank you. It's so cool. There's the whole, isn't that amazing? I just love that. Now I would layer and quilt that, free motion quilt it, and you could be really kind of artistic. If you want to improve your free motion machine quilting or do a project that's really going to show off your quilting, how about that? And what I would do there is, okay, if I show you on this panel, I'll open it out now, um, layer this up with batting and backing, I would 505 it together. And then what you could do is, in each of these rings, you could actually practice a different technique. So for example, you might do something like loop the loop quilting here and vary the width and the height to fit in to that space, okay? Here, you might do a figure of eight. So figure of eight or wishbone quilting and quilt and follow the curve as you go around. That would be really cool. You could have just up and down quilting. So just rippling back and forth. You could fill it with pebbles. So a circle and another circle and another circle and another, and just vary the size of the pebbles all throughout there. You could do peacock feathers. You could do uh, plumes vermicelli wiggles and because the fabric has lots of pattern lots of color in there it's going to be very very forgiving uh, when you've quilted it so if you want to practice your quilting on something that's going to be quite forgiving this is a great panel to do it on now that's one idea you've obviously got four square units with this center cross now you could i would leave the center cross in for a wall hanging same with these side panels but equally you could turn these into say two tote bags a front and a back 
there's a shoulder strap, a front and a back, there's a shoulder strap. Two bags for $12.99, that sounds like a bargain to me. I would just use maybe some rainbow colours or maybe some coordinates from the collection to pad that out. Um, you could make four really cool cushions out of this and I would use, you know, each one for the front, I would use a coordinate for the back, I'd do an envelope back and I would actually use this section here with the jade green attached and I would actually stitch that onto the coordinate as a decorative band on the back of the envelope back to bring in a little bit more colour to the back. That would be so cool. Four cushion panels for $12.99. That is an amazing price. If you're artistic or feel like experimenting and going wild with this, I mean the possibilities are endless. What about embroidery? What about beading? Fran from Greater London says, I've just snuck onto the coming up items. These fabrics have great design. They are really cool. And they're really different as well, Fran. Really different. Um, how are things in London today, by the way, Fran? Snowy, not snowy? Staying warm and cozy? Let me know, let me know how you're getting on. So that's the panel. I think that's a brilliant one. Love that. All right, now the coordinates. Let me show you these, because these are out of this world. They're really, really fun fabrics. Um, ending 64, let's start with that one. Ending 64, right. Right, this is amazing. Wow, I love that. That is so cool. That is so cool. So a real kaleidoscope of colour. This is a real kind of art fabric, isn't it? Um, you could do so much with that. That would be gorgeous for a bag or a bag lining, maybe. You could actually use this really effectively with my rainbow is my favourite colour messenger bag panels or with my rainbow squares or rainbow strips panels. Oh, I'm getting ideas now. Like, let me show you what you get for half a metre. How brilliant is that? It's almost like that's giving me double wedding ring vibes or New York beauty vibes, but really kind of abstracted. Now, what about using that as a really cool fabric for the background to a double wedding ring? So in a double wedding ring, you've got kind of this shape with the arcs pieced around it. So this shape in the center and maybe the melon seed shapes that go inside the arcs, that could be this fabric. And then you could use a plain black for the background of the arcs and then really bright solids for all of the pieced triangles. Or if you're doing New York Beauty, you could do the pieced spiky arcs using bright solids on a black background and then use this for the background behind. That would be so cool. Uh, now it's 112 centimetres wide which I believe is 44 inches but I'm just going to check. Oh well, London's wet. London is wet. Better than cold and snowy. Uh, yeah 43 inches wide usable width there. The fabric itself is 44 but you've got that little without the selvage 43 inches usable width. Um, very very cool fabric that. Should be doing something with that in a little while. Nice. Now then next up um, is this ending 3.9? Yep yeah, got that one next. Oh you're gonna love this one. These are fabrics you need to open out and see more of, you know. These are lovely. These are lovely. Check this one out. I'm just going to open this right out and show you. That is stunning. Yeah, that is beautiful. That is beautiful. That's almost like a tie-dyed effect, isn't it? Really vibrant as well. There's a lot of saturated colour in there. This is giving me some Tula Pink vibes as well. So maybe if you've got Tula Pink fabrics and you want a coordinate, so again, think about using the Tula Pink for the patchwork, the piecing, and this as a really amazing background fabric, a border fabric, a binding. You could use this, this would be an amazing 
backing for a quilt, but also what about using this for a whole cloth quilt? So make a baby quilt, okay, maybe a circular baby quilt out of this. So all you're gonna do there, okay, is to fold your fabric into quarters, okay? Then what you would do is um, a pin right there, pin it down, piece of string uh, with a, um, a pencil, yeah, and then draw your circle. Obviously, I'm showing you on a little piece of fabric. On a big piece of fabric, obviously, you'd do a much, much bigger circle. Um, arc out your circle, open it out with your batting and your backing, quilt it, add a binding around the edge. Um, beautiful circular play mat in rainbow. That is so happy. What about dressmaking with that? Are you with me? That would be so cool little dress, a festival shirt. Who's going to Glastow? <laughs> Are you with me? Uh, I love that. I love that. Yeah, just a binding. If I fold this down really small so you can see what it would look like as a binding. Um, a quarter of the stock of that one has gone now. So look, that's a, that would be like your binding. That is gorgeous, isn't it? constantly changing around your quilt. Beautiful. Viv's messaged in to say, hi Stuart, I'm in London. I'm not saying it's wet, but I'm thinking of quilting an arc. I love it. Oh, mind you, I'd rather have wet than snow. Ooh, yuck. A message across the bottom. Morning Stuart. That would make a lovely rucksack messenger bag. Morag, definitely Mo, it really would. A rainbow messenger bag, yeah. And also, you know, um, Becky Alexander Frost often uses those really gorgeous rainbow zips with the chunky or just brightly colored chunky zip across a bag. Yummy. Uh, Kerry from Tiny Wear says, I can see these fabrics as the main fabric for Project Linus quilts or quilts for babies and children. So many possibilities. Totally agree. But this is a fabric, actually, I think, Kerry, I think you'd agree, would work for children, but it would work for adults as well. So, so often, you know, kind of rainbow, they become cute and they're very much designed with children in mind. This, you could make something for kids, you could make something for adults. I love it. What about a scarf? Susan missed the panel. Hi, Stuart. Sorry, missed the group panel. Could you please show it again? Thanks, Susan in Hampshire. Of course I will. I'm just going to show you how beautiful a scarf would be in this. So like an infinity scarf or something like that. Absolutely love it. Silver or gold jewellery? Silver? Chunky silver? I think I would do the same. Yeah, love it. Okay, let me grab the panel again. I'm excited by these. Over half of this fabric, by the way, has now gone. I want to know what you're planning to make with it because I can think of so many possibilities. Right, it all started with this panel, the Neo Geo panel. I think this is such a cool way to practice your quilting. So this is the panel. It is a big one. It is a big one. Um, you've got really kind of one big whole motif, if you like, split into four quadrants. Isn't that so fabulous? Um, with this jade green cross through the center, you've also got coordinating strips down the side. Now, if you wanted to practice your quilting, you could layer up the whole thing or just one panel and use these arcs as separate spaces to quilt. Okay, do something different in each arc. Loop the loop, figure of eight, ribbon candy, or just rippling back and forth. Loads of different things. Practice your free motion quilting. <coughs> okay, excuse me. You've got four separate squares there. You could make four separate cushions. You could turn this into a long runner that went along the end of a bed. You could make two tote bags, front and the back, front and the back shoulder strap, shoulder strap. Um, so many different creative ways you could use this panel. You could, of course, make it up into a quilt as well. What you might do there is use some of the coordinates. You could do some pieced blocks, maybe some different star blocks. Because for me, this has a very kind of cosmic, 
outer space sort of look to it. So you could create some different star blocks of different sizes and use these plus your piecing plus some you know squares or rectangles in different sizes and shapes to bring the whole thing together. I think it's a really cool starting point for a project. It's $12.99 stockwise. When, are you, when you've all checked out, quarter of the stock has gone. We had a good stock of this because it's really cool. I think this is one, if you, you could even do a class around that. Everybody in the class has one of those panels laid with, with batting and backing. And then you teach different free motion quilting techniques. And then you give everyone 10 minutes, 15 minutes to fill the arc, practicing that technique. I think that could work, right? Mm. These ones, yeah, these are great coordinates. Ending four, eight. Okay, so these are the plainest of the fabrics in the Neo Geo range. These are the ones you need oodles of. Even if you're not buying anything else from the range, you need some of this in your stash, I think, because this would go with so, you know, I often say, Use a black solid as your background fabric with these bright colours, it will really make it pop. But if you've got this as an option, I would use this instead as your background because that is so much more exciting than a solid black. But we'll do the same job. So if you're doing some piecing, look at how that will pop. It is just radiant. Imagine big half square or quarter square triangles. You could do a cosmic log cabin. So many different possibilities. I'm getting New York beauty vibes. I'm getting uh, paper pieced, spiky stars, constellations. I don't know, this is really giving me that kind of out of this world vibe. But this background fabric I think could be used for so many projects, even if you're not getting any of the other fabrics. This would be great in your stash. I, and if I'm ever buying stash fabrics, I always want at least a metre. If I really love it, I'll buy two and a half to three metres, and then I can use it for sashing or binding or a border, as well as piecing. 7.49 per half metre. Per, per. Right, pop that to one side. Now we've also got the white background, same style, but a white background, and again, this really will earn its keep in your stash. Um, as a gorgeous light background fabric um, that you could use so many different brights with or kind of saturated pastels. So I'm thinking my um, rainbow is my favourite colour pastel strips and squares would look stunning mixed with this. Absolutely stunning really lovely it would also be really nice for, for dressmaking you could make a very nice shirt out of that just show you what i mean that's got a nice kind of bright white to it hasn't it could make a really nice man's shirt out of that um or for you know children's wear a nice summery dress would be lovely out of that or line a bag line a bag. If you're making something like a messenger or a tote, then half a metre is good. If you're making something more like a kind of weekender bag, then I would go at least a metre to a metre and a half. All right, let's get into some more pattern. Shall we do ending 2-4? If you love your rainbow, you're going to love <laughs> this fabric. This is, oh, this is, ah. Oh. Now that kind of reminds me, do you remember those 90s magic eye pictures where you're supposed to stare at them for 10 minutes and then see the Sphinx or something popping out? I, they never worked for me. They never worked. But um, that is just a beautiful, beautiful fabric, isn't it? Glowy and vibrant. Gorgeous. Lovely quality fabrics as well. These are all 100% cotton. Uh, beautifully printed. Feel nice and soft as well. That's a great one. Oh. Okay, that's that one. 
I'm being asked if I'm cold. Do I look cold? Oh, I don't mind if you put the heating on. It's fine. I've got a tank top on. This is keeping me snug. And I've got a flannel shirt on underneath. I'm serving Canadian logger realness today. You, I've, I'm doing my best. I'm doing my best. But I can always take this off if I need to. All right, next one, 7.49. This is the Neo Geo Collection Large Textured Dots with the black background. I love this combo of pink, lime, aqua, turquoise and violet. Stunning. Absolutely beautiful. Um, again, really fun fabric that. Be great to make something like, can you imagine... Um, a, a hat made in that for the beach or a beach bag would be fun right i've got two more fabrics ending three four again look at this wild color and texture just gorgeous that's really lovely this would make a really cool bag interior too Nice and light and bright. These are going to be really fun to work with. I can't wait to start cutting them up. And then last of all, we have that one with a black spatter. That's a cool one. I'm liking that. That's really cool. <laughs> Beautiful. Right. But the star for me, I've got to say, is that panel that we started off with. I'll show it you one more time. It's really lovely. Um, really out of this world, kind of cosmic. Very, very different, this fabric. It's, um, you know, I see a lot of beautiful fabrics. A lot of them are floral. A lot of them are floral, which I love. But it's really nice to see something that just has a different vibe, a different tone and texture. Now, um, this is very influenced, I think, the, the, the look is very influenced by this jade green. If you took that out, you could actually put any of these colours and pick that out. So it could be the hot pink, it could be the mustard gold, or this vibrant leaf green, or a purple, or even this more pucy purple pink. You could put any colour with it that you draw, even black, um, to change the whole look of this. I think, to be honest with you, the idea is that this is kind of waste fabric that you cut off and you use these. But I think it looks beautiful. And if I was going to use this as a whole panel, I'd leave it in. Or if I really wanted to change it, I'd cut it out, but then I'd put it back in again in a different colour, just maybe a one inch finished strip. So sash it, strip all around the outside edge, maybe add a border. You could use any of the coordinates with this and then quilt it. And that would just be amazing. This would make a really great challenge for a quilting group. Everyone gets a panel. Everyone gets six months to do something with the panel. And then the best one wins a prize. We used to do that loads in my quilt group. We'd do an annual fabric challenge. It was great, January. I'll tell you what it was, really. We used to have the AGM in January and it was a bit of a sweetener to get everyone to turn up for the AGM. We would do the fabric challenge so everyone would be given their piece of fabric at the AGM. So if you didn't go to the AGM, you weren't part of the challenge. So it's an annual general meeting. So you'd vote in the new people for the committee, which was always very much a sort of, would all val volunteers please stand forward? And everyone would go. <laughs> but if you're a member of a quilt group, volunteer, get yourself on the committee. It's the best place to be. Right, let's make something. Let's make something. I'm excited too. <laughs> Oh, I love the chance to play with fabrics. Now, let me just set myself a little ironing station up as well. I, um, I love watching little videos on YouTube to learn new techniques. And I was watching a really cool video yesterday, but it was actually to do an Icelandic bind off, which is no use today at all. <laughs> but that's okay. Right. 
thank you that's wonderful got me iron so I'll just give my fabrics a little press oh it's all gone very quiet <laughs> I'm intrigued yeah okay this one that i'm using here has been incredibly popular over half the stock has sold out so if you want this bit of gorgeousness i um i wouldn't hang about i wouldn't hang about so i'm just going to do something quite simple and easy but a bit of fun i'm going to grab a bigger ruler actually so i'm going to use the six and a half by 24 and a half from creative grids and here where i'm using a smaller mat i've just folded it twice and i've lined up my fabric folds with the squares on the mat okay which just helps me to ensure that when i unfold everything i don't have a wonky strip i will have a lovely straight strip which is what i want rotating cutting mat which i love this is the big one this is the 18 inch square okay so i've cut myself a strip there and what i'm going to do now is just cut that down i've cut five inch square and i'm going to cut this down into some five inch squares love a rotating cutting mat it just makes the whole process so much easier it really really does it makes the whole process easier and i'm all about ease so i'm just going to cut some squares i think every scrap of this fabric is going to be useful and beautiful and will look different because it'll have been cut on a different part of the pattern so right here look i managed to cut six oh wow i mean even just cutting out six squares and re just rejoining them back together again just kind of twisting and turning it just isn't that lovely yum oh oh i've just had a little idea it wasn't what i was going to do but let me just let me pop those to one side for a second so i'm gonna get now then do i coordinate this with the dark or do i coordinate this with the light the light let's do the light let's do the light my natural inclination is to go dark but sometimes you've got to just step a little out of your normal groove don't you i think oh we've got two of the irons two of the alisos gorgeous love that we don't normally have them in stock oh, well good bumper day happy days all right so i'm just going to line up the fold here and here just make sure okay that's lovely and then we'll cut that so again rotating cutting mat new best friend absolutely love them we do square we do circular rotating cutting mats as well they've both got their place okay so we'll pop that to one side so what i'm going to do now any basically for me any block that allows me to get um a diagonal a strong diagonal gives me the possibility to create a log cabin like effect actually i can just keep cutting there kind of a log cabin effect okay so what i've got now i've got one two three four five six perfect right so i've got six squares and six squares i don't know if i need all of those but anyway we'll see so what i was sort of thinking here was and it's not at all what i was planning on doing but hey life can be like that sometimes can't it so i've got nine there and then i'm going to use five here no i'm just going to use three here okay 
So here, really, really simple. I've just got my squares and I would sew these back together again and you could create all different kinds of effects depending on how you place these fabrics. We're almost going to have like a radiating, I'm going to move this around so that it, this glow, can you see what I'm doing here where the glow is kind of spreading out from the middle. Do I want to turn that? No, I'm going to put it back how it was. No. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. So what I would do then is I would piece a load of these. All of them are going to look different because depending on where the fabric goes. And then you can see I've got my strong diagonal working through the center. I've got my dark side, which is bigger, my light side. But effectively, I've made a big half square triangle and I could then put these together in any of the log cabin styles or patterns that we know. So that's just a really, really simple way to use that multicolored fabric. Okay, let's do something else. Let's do something else. So I've got those fabrics. So I'm just gonna cut a couple more up. I wanna use this one because this is so bright and beautiful. This one ends two, four. I don't often get a chance to play with fabrics like this, so this is fun for me. Third of the stock of this one has gone. So if you want this one, I would be quick. Now this is giving me kind of psychedelic Easter vibes. So I'm wondering now whether this would make a really cool Easter bag. These are almost reading as Easter eggs to me. Do you know what I mean? Imagine a gorgeous little Easter bag made out of those. So I'm going to line that edge up with my mat and then I'm going to move it out of, <laughs> out of line and then just roll that down until I've got a nice, a nice folded edge. Good. Right then, let's cut some strips. Now my centre squares are five inches cut. I'm going to cut this one at three and a half inches. Okay, the measurements aren't that important. I'm going to put it out there. They're not that important. Um, I'm going to leave that strip to one side for now. I'm also going to cut a little bit of this black as well. So let's just fold this up. Okay. Now then, I'm going to show you a real quick and nifty technique to make four blocks out of one. We like a four for one. So this one, I'm going to cut two inch strips. And again, these measurements aren't that important. It'll kind of all come together in the end. Okay, so from that strip, I'm going to cut a five inch, a couple of five inch strips. Oh, have I done that two and a quarter? Well, it really doesn't matter what width they are then. <laughs> there we go. So two of them at five. Oh, is the black sold out? Okay. All right. So let me grab one of my gorgeous squares. Let's go with this real bright one, shall we? And I'm going to start by sewing quarter of an inch seam allowance. So on my Elna 680 plus regular foot stitch number six which is my quarter of an inch seam allowance so I'm going to sew opposite sides there's one and then we'll do the other and sew that in place Okay, good. Right then, I'll finger press those both back. And then I'm just gonna give that a light press just to make sure that everything is nice and set. Catherine's got in touch to say, I'm feeling a bit left out. No snow here in South Ayrshire. Oh, you don't wanna be part of this club. <laughs> Carol says, good morning. Julie says, hi Stuart, very bad snow here. Can't get out, get it on the TV, sorry. Here, can't get it on the TV, take care. 
Oh, can you not watch us on the TV? You can watch us on the internet. You can watch us on the internet. Now, just to make life easier, you could measure this, but I'm just going to cut my strips, sew them on, and then square it up. So I'm going to sew on two more strips on the remaining two sides. Now, the fabric that I'm using in the center of this block is the graphic on screen now. 749 per half meter. Really useful, actually. Really useful fabric to have in your stash. Liking that. So that's one side sewn on. Now we'll sew the other. Okay, so I have done round one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, there we go. Okay, now you want to make sure that you iron everything, get it nice and flat, keep it nice and square and true as well. So do take a little bit of time here. And then it is useful if you've got a square ruler just for squaring up your blocks at each round. And size-wise, go for the biggest you can afford, really, um, if you're only going to have one go for the biggest you can afford. A 12 and a half inch square is really useful. Um, that's what I'm using right here. So what I'm gonna do is just lay that on top. My square is coming up at eight inches square. So I'm gonna trim the sides and straight away what you can see uh -huh, is how that color pops with a frame around it. That looks pretty amazing. Love that already. Love that already. Now then, um, we can add strips, but I'm going to do, have I got time? I've got time. I've got time. I'm going to grab four of my light squares. Okay. This might work. It might not. I'm just going to give it a go. We're playing. We're playing. Now, there are various different ways that you can do corner flippy triangles. You can, uh, <laughs> that's my new name for them. You can draw a line from corner to corner. You can also press a line. And if you're pushed for time, press a line, give it a go. Um, I'm doing two at a time here. At home, I might just do one, but hey, this is live tele sewing. All right, so I've done that with wrong sides facing inwards. All right, so my next job is I'm going to lay these over the top of my frame, corner to corner, okay? And I might just bash a pin in, just for the sheer joy of doing it. There we go. So while I'm here, I might as well add one to the opposite side. This is one of those, what would happen if moments. It might be lovely, it might not, we'll see. So I'm gonna use a center needle position and I'm gonna sew from corner to corner. Okay, do one and then do the other. If I invent a really cool block, I want it just to be made clear that I'm copywriting this. <laughs> right here, right now, I'm copywriting this. And if it's awful, then you can have it. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay, so now I'm going to press those corners back. All right, well, already I'm loving it, so that's a good, that's a good sign, really good sign. Okay, so there's my square now. So already I'm loving that, and you could make a bunch of those and sew them together. And actually, do you see what you would, oh, I am copywriting this, because do you see what you would get? You would actually get a star in the center and little constellations around it. Wow, okay. All right, loving this, loving this. I'm gonna trim this back. Obviously, do not throw that away. 
sew that, keep it, use it for something else. Let's do the other side. Okay, right, so I'm gonna add two more squares to the remaining corners and create a whole new block. Wow, this just goes to show the benefit of playtime, right? But so often, we don't give ourselves that opportunity. The fabric's really fun to play with, actually. I'm loving it, because it's a bit different. It's, it's, it's out of my usual fabrics that I would use. It's something a little bit different. And I think because the fabric is different, it's encouraging me to do something different. Um, and that has got to be a good thing. Don't you think? Yeah. So, and also these folds are actually working quite well for me. Quite liking that. Okay. Right. So that is now done. I'm going to do the same again. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, this is looking good. I'll show you in a second. <laughs> I, uh, well, yeah, I'm keeping it. Uh, Fiona says, I should have called this Stuart's Creative Session. Brilliant to watch and learn. Well, that, well I'm, I'm loving that as little tips. Gorgeous. Now, the fabric's on the outside. This white background is in the graphics. That's on screen right now. Um, the black has sold out, but you could use, oh, didn't do that very well, a solid black if you prefer. The one in the middle um, is, are those Geospiral? Yep. Okay, right. So now the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to put another strip around... Right, so we'll sew that on and I'm going to go back to my quarter of an inch seam allowance now and sew this around. Collector in Merseyside has messaged in. Uh, I love your off-the-cuff demos. We don't take the time to play with fabric sometimes and this is where the best ideas are. It is really, isn't it? And sometimes, you know, I mean, I was, I was actually, I'd been thinking, oh, I want to do something different and cool with this fabric but I'm not really sure what and I was thinking maybe double pinwheel and I thought well you know is there something else I could do so I thought I would just literally have a play um and it's interesting what comes out of it I'm definitely going to be going home and and having another go at this Helen's got in touch. Hi, Stuart. Loving the off-the-cuff demo. My problem is choosing which colours. Do you ever lose your sojo, your sewing mojo? Um, honest answer, yes. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I, you know, especially when I've had a really, like, heavy sort of lots of piecing or, you know, tight deadline, I'm like, oh, I, I don't want to see my sewing machine again for the rest of the week. Um, but... I'm like every other crafter on the planet. I don't just do one thing. So if I'm fed up of sewing, I pick up my knitting. If I don't want to knit, I'll cook, I'll garden. I'll, I'm always doing something creative though. Um, and then I'm halfway through gardening and I'll think, oh, I could just make a little bag and I'll be running in the house and I'll be making that. So, you know, if you ever lose your sojo, just Go do something else and um, you'll soon get back into the rhythm. Soon get back into the rhythm. Okay, so I'm going to square these ends off. Now, we'll see if this is going to be big enough to fit. Not quite. So, what I'm going to do is just gra grab one more strip of this. What was my width on that? Did I do three and a half? I did three. Right then, so I'm just gonna grab one more strip. Three, did I say three? I said three, didn't I? Three inches, yeah, there we go. And 
I'm going to sew two more strips on. So again, I mean, normally I'm quite strict about measuring and cutting to the length and not adding a strip and then trimming it down. But with something like this, I may well end up squaring this block up, which means I can be a little bit more loose with my measurements and my piecing because I'm going to square up the final block. Um, and that will make all the difference. Okay, that's one side. And then I'm going to add to the other. This is like ready, steady, so, isn't it? We were talking about this yesterday. Or the Great British Quilting Bee. I, do you know, I'm playing bobbin chicken and I don't quite know how I'm winning, but I seem to be at the moment. It's probably famous last words. Don't you just love it when you're sewing something and literally as you sew your last seam, you pull the fabric out and there's this little two inch tail and that's literally the last of your bobbin. <sighs> okay, right. Uh, Lisa Lamb says, Stuart, you sound like me. You always have something nice to do at home. You sound like the perfect neighbour. Lisa, I don't know if I'd be a perfect neighbour, but I do things like I bake and then I take things on plates round to the people who live nearby. So I definitely do that. But I mean, I, you know, I, re I believe in paying it forward. So I do expect the plate back with something else equally yummy on it. But I am very lucky. I've got some very talented neighbours, so, you know. <laughs> you would be a fun neighbour to have too. I'd be constantly coming round saying, Lisa, how do you do this? <laughs> right, I'm going to square this up now. Um, so I'm coming out at just about, I think this is going to be like a 13 inch, yeah. 13 inch square. or thereabouts so I think that is a really fun block something a little bit different but what I am just going to do as one final experiment I know yeah I'm going to cut it sometimes you've just got to you know play with your fabrics and just see what happens, don't you think? I'm going to cut that and I'm going to cut that. Okay. And then I'm going to lay down, lay me down a background fabric. I don't know if this will work or whether I'm going to go with just plain black, but we'll try it and see. And I'm just thinking that I'm going to, are you with me? I want to do a pinwheel, a pinwheel block. Oh yeah, I'm liking that. I might just grab the, just the plainer black. I know it's sold out. But just to show you, need more of it than that. So what I would do then is just piece these together with equal sized half square triangles. Yeah, that's nice, isn't it? Uh, I can never do this now. What am I doing wrong? There we go. That's better. And that one. Uh, there. Yes. What do you think? Did my experiment work? So you would just piece together half square triangles. You could even actually just, yeah, slice through, add it to a triangle and then cut it again. 
But there you go, there's your pinwheel. That's a bit different. I liked that. I liked that. <laughs> Good fun. Were you writing all that down? <laughs> so fabrics I used, this one right here, ending to four. So I used that for these beautiful strips along the outside. Looks like you used lots of templates there. <laughs> Over half the stock's gone. I used this one, this light background for these triangles here. Well over half of that has gone. I used the dark, any dark black fabric would, have, would use dark black. <laughs> that has sold out. And then I also used this fabric right here. Which was again a really fun one. There it is, there it is that one so many possibilities would also of course use any of my scraps up or any of my little bits and just see what i could do with them because they are also pretty cute mm, yeah i'm just wondering about even the little bits you could sew together and you could create another little pinwheel. It's just having fun with fabric, isn't it? Ooh, really liking that. Where is that last triangle? Have I lost the last triangle? Never mind. Oh, honestly, I'll just tuck that in so you can just see. Something like that anyway. Yes, all good fun. Oh, I found it now. <laughs> Typical. Um, there were a couple of others I didn't use in that demo, um, including these two right here, ending three, four. That would be a really gorgeous. So maybe when you've made your blocks, do some sashing around your blocks. And the black 9-4. Do remember to check out your baskets, won't you? We also had this amazing fabric ending 5-8. And of course the panel that we started with. Don't get me started on that one. Absolutely amazing. Oh, there's this one as well. Is this one too? Uh, that ends six four. Beautiful. Over half the stock of that one has gone. And then of course that fabulous, fabulous panel. Which is hiding somewhere. But there it is. There it is. Oh, thank you. Brill. Wow, what a fun hour. I enjoyed that, I hope you did too. Don't forget to check out your baskets, will you? Um, I know you're watching eagerly. Were you writing it down? I wanna see the finished quilt, please, or the bag. All right, we're gonna go to a little break now. Uh, when we come back, Kerry's back with more coronation projects, including Crowned with Diamonds. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters 
and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times, or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy myself an overlocker. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too.
Hi friends, welcome back to Sewing Street. I am Stuart Hillard and you are very welcome. <laughs> it is a great hour coming up. We've got we, Kerry we have from more, Living in Loveliness. More loveliness. More loveliness, more, more coronation, coronation I was going to say. Yeah. But yes, I'll go with more loveliness. I'm really excited about this hour because we've got the crowned with diamonds cushion or table center. Now I've got the cushion version over here in your pattern you actually get instructions to do the cushion or the table center so this is the liberty version and you get enough fabric to create one cushion complete with backing uh, absolutely gorgeous this is the liberty version and kerry you have the Lewis and Irene I version Lewis over your Irene. side. Should we get it? And this is made as the table centre. This is the table centre. So if I you prefer, you. thank you. So if you prefer, you can use exactly the same pattern with slightly amended instructions to make the table centre. Now, I've got to say, I mean, I love the Liberty and I'm normally a Lib Team Liberty, but I am in love with that teacup fabric from Lewis and Irene and also the gold bumbleberry. It is beautiful. So we're going to start there with the Lewis and Irene kit. So here it is. Uh, now remember, you can do the cushion or the table centre with this. You don't have to choose. So in your kit, you're getting all of your fabrics. Now this is a new, it's like a coronation range, isn't it's it? It's fabulous. It's just absolutely lovely. I hadn't actually intended on doing a Lewis and Irene originally. And the day I was making the sample, yeah. the fabric arrived. And just like you, I absolutely <laughs> yeah. love tea. I love a tea party Your plans anyway. suddenly changed. They did. They Well, we added more work. We added more work and more options. More so options. we had to have tea party theme for a table centre. Absolutely right. And you know, how about a tea party for the coronation? I love that idea. Um, favourite biscuit? Oh, chocolate hobnob. Chocolate hobnob. Favourite cake? Lemon drizzle. Oh, and yes. bread pudding. Oh, it's a and toss bread, up. Oh, yeah, bread Sue's bread pudding, pudding or oh, lemon drizzle. Yum. Could you bring me a slice next time? Yes. Thank you. Good. <laughs> Excellent. Glad we've got that sorted. Look at that beautiful fabric. So, this is on navy. You've got the teacups, beautiful cup of tea. That. That's, that's the sort of colour we're talking about. That looks like my tea. It does not. Little <laughs> flags there, little uh, rondelles, almost like a little cameo. Um, we've got biscuits there. We've got slices of Victoria sponge cake, named, of course, after Queen Victoria. I think that was for her coronation, wasn't it? And then you've also got the same design on red. You've got the brand new, I think. Is this the mm. brand new? gold bumbleberries with gold metallic highlights yeah that is amazing you've got your white on white not a solid a white on white print there for your background and then you've also got your beautiful now you could have just put a plain navy for the backing but you didn't I this did think about it, spot. but it goes against my love for the metallics. Yeah, yeah. goes against Magnetics the grain. Magnetics is what we called it earlier. <laughs> <laughs> and that Sunk just makes there. it extra special. <laughs> the price is awesome, $24.99. And you do, of course, get full instructions for making that beautiful crowned with diamonds quilt block there, which is a stunner, an absolutely beautiful block that. So that's our Lewis and Irene version. Make it into a cushion, make it into a table centre, but be quick because a third of the stock has already been checked out and lots more of it is spoken for in baskets. Now the other option that we've got from Kerry is the Liberté. That's the Liberty version, which I just think is gorgeous. And again, has got that red, white, blue and gold theme. Small diamond for... Queen Camilla. That's right. Large diamond for King Charles. I love that. I love that. Carrie was telling me about the symbolism of the centre. It's beautiful. So that's the Liberty. Let me show you the fabrics. I've got to start with that gold Emily Bell, uh, uh, Wiltshire Shadow, sorry. Gold, again, gold metallic print there. I've never seen a Liberty fabric with gold metallic. Well, when we did the Jubilee, we had the silver and it was just oh. absolutely beautiful. And to be honest, I injected it into so many projects <laughs> afterwards <laughs> that did. it felt only right that we bring it back with the gold this it's time. It's just stunning, isn't it? I love that. Then you've got the red Emily Bell. Again, a real favourite of mine from Liberty. You've got your gold pin dot backing. 
you've got your white on white print and then you've got that beautiful blue Wiltshire shadow so red white blue and gold same color theme but this time in Liberty and then of course you've got your full instructions from Living in Loveliness. Now what I really like about your instructions as well is you've got a fabric layout diagram which shows you on each of your fabrics exactly how to place your fabrics. Kerry how important is it or not that we follow this layout? So I'm always um, passionate about encouraging you to get the most from your fabric so you have a little bit left um, in your stash. And as you can see there, the second one down the middle E, you've got quite a lot left over. But when you're looking at the top fabric there, it is limited. So it's really important that you follow that as yep. it is shown on the diagram. Yep, follow the instructions, follow the layout. 25 99 for the Liberty version. Fantastic, I love that, I really love that. Now, if you want instructions on their own, <clears throat> we've got you covered, we can do that. The crowned with diamonds, table center, or cushion instructions from Living in Loveliness. So, you get full instructions, your layout, your cutting diagram, all of your measurements, how to piece your block. In terms of a level, what sort of level are we talking about here? Um, I mean, you've got all of the diagrams there uh, to work with. You've got your measurements, but there are a few tricky bits in this, this one here. So maybe not necessarily for a beginner, unless you're a confident beginner. Confident beginner. Yeah. I like that. Confident beginner. 9.99. <clears throat> There's YouTube. There's friends, there's the demo today. Yeah. Use all of these. If you're newer to sewing, don't be put off. And that table centre, made up as a table centre, it is gorgeous. Look at that. Absolutely stunning. It's a good size as well, isn't it? Like it, like it. Really, well, it's important, isn't it? Whatever you're putting in the middle, if you do decide to put anything on that you can see those crowns, you yeah. know, that they're really standing proud. Absolutely, um, absolutely. And I like if I'm having a table centre, something quite large, really, with, you know, if you're thinking of putting your vase or your fruit I bowl agree. or whatever, you want to be able to see the rest of the table centre. Well, I would put my three tier cake stand on go. the centre. So I'm still going to see those four crowns and I would have my tea stand with my scones, my chocolate fondants, my French fancies, my little shortbread biscuits. Jam or cream first? Oh, oh. on a scone, I put <laughs> cream, clotted cream on first because I think it's like butter and then a spoonful of jam on top. I think that's Devon style, isn't it? I'm not sure. Who knows? Who knows? Always worth asking the question to create the <laughs> To be debate. honest with you, as my mum would say, it's all going down the same way. So, so does it I really mean, matter? You know, <laughs> I don't want to start that argument. All right, make your choice. Oh, a nice message. Hi, Kerry, loving the hair. Sorry, your hair as well, Stuart. Lol, from Mo. <laughs> Lol, yeah. No, your hair looks awesome. I love it. And tell me, do you do that yourself, no, Kerry? No, no, you ask me this every time. My <laughs> lovely daughter, honey, she's very lovely to me now. What time do you drag her out of bed to do your I hair? I entice her out with a nice cup of coffee. And? This morning was very early. It was... 5 o'clock. 5 a.m. Which is later than the last it time. Is. That was 4 We have an agreement, though. We have an agreement. Yeah. What does, what, does, what does Honey say to you? She will do my hair, but I'm not allowed to make eye contact because I give her the eyes and make her excited and it's too early in the morning. I'm not allowed to talk because she's too tired to engage in conversation and I knock the door with a cup of coffee. Fair enough. All of which I can do. Yeah. And I do try and squeeze in a little bit of chit chat and she just gives me the eyes. Yeah, yeah. You know, the 16 year old eyes. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. I'm very, I'm very proud of her and I'm very happy that she gets up and does it because I cannot do I it. I tell and you, I love absolutely, it. <laughs> absolutely. She's an absolute trooper. Well done, honey. She reminds me every time I owe her a favour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and honey, your work has been recognised on Sewing Street today. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, great. Shall let's we start? make a table runner, table center. So let's start with the beginning. Let's start in the center, sorry, with that lovely double diamond there. So I'm going to use the Lewis and Irene fabric here. And the center part is actually incredibly easy. What I tend to do when I'm making any project, especially in this one, we've got lots of triangles, lots of white triangles, if you have a little look here. Mm -hmm. And they're three different sizes. So I find it incredibly useful just to mark those up and pin them with the letters. So we're then going to take that centre part. Now, your table centre, of course, is going to switch in different um, directions. So don't be too, um, you know, too conscious about the right way up on your pattern here. Right. So if you have a little look at mine, some are upside down, <clears throat> etc. cetera. Well, so, the, the Lewis and Irene fabrics, they are kind of, you know, tossed cups of tea, yeah, aren't they? Yeah, I mean, don't they try are. that at home, but... <laughs> <laughs> no, definitely don't try that one at home. So all I'm doing first of all is just popping my A and B pieces together, bringing these pattern facing and sewing using a quarter inch seam allowance. This project and any quilting project actually is all, in fact I'm not going to pin that, it's only a little bit, always worth using your quarter inch foot on here. Mm. It really does help um, with all of those measurements. Uh, nice message from Fiona. She says, "Don't forget the cream cheese shoe fingers <gasps> to go on the cake stand with like parmesan along the top, all and baked, along with the crustless sandwiches." Oh yeah, I went Fiona, to a tea party last Friday. Actually, Did you? yeah, it was lovely. Was it for a special occasion? Um, well, Honey's actually started working in a tea room. Oh, um, yeah. So we'd gone along for a psychic night. Oh. Psychic night and um, an afternoon tea. Yeah. On a Friday evening. It was very strange. How much fun. Did you have crustless sandwiches? I did. I had crustless sat and lots of cake. Cream lots cheese, lots of shoe cake. fingers? No. No. Didn't. No. I might so have to have a word. I'm, yeah. Sounds beautiful. Oh, that sounds like fun. Charlie and I went through a phase of going out for afternoon teas and we said, wouldn't this be a lovely kind of way to tour Britain? Doing afternoon Doing teas. Doing afternoon teas. My... Because uh, we had some that were very home style, you know, chunky fruit cake and, you know, brown pots of tea and then some that were incredibly sophisticated and they were all delicious. All nice. My um, friend's na uh, mom does that. Mm -hmm. She mm. literally just gets on the train and goes to the train station, doesn't particularly, she's obviously very spontaneous, doesn't yep. particularly decide where they're going, they just get on the train and like then they it. go and find a tea shop. I'm like, that's very exciting. That's a cool actually. thing to do, I like that. I, I love like the that. idea of that. And my, my best friend Sal's mum, Ange, um, who is also a very dear friend of mine, has a, um, a rating system for scones. Oh. Yeah, so when is she, whenever she has a scone, that'll be a, it might be a four, that would be pretty poor in fairness. A four out of ten. She's had a few nines. Oh. She's only ever, ever had one ten. Really? Mm. Um, mine are like edible or not. <laughs> See, you take your money if you take your chance. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I love it. That's that's it. You know, um, that's what cake is for me. Yeah. Sometimes when I do scones, they're amazing and they look like. You know, Mary when you Berry make broke them. into my house and made them. Yeah. And then other times they look like rock cakes or, or you know, <laughs> Easter biscuits. Um, June says you can't spread clotted cream on top of jam. It just makes a mess. Exactly. So, um, but whipped cream has to go on top of the jam. Love the fabric. That is, that makes absolute sense. June, I think you might have just settled a centuries old <laughs> argument. I really shouldn't have started that today, should I? <laughs> but it's I told right. you I was feeling a bit rebellious. A bit today. naughty. <laughs> bit naughty. So just pop the, the yes, please. Just pop the strips onto the side. So then we'll work on if you could press them towards the darker yep, fabric we'll do, for no me, problem. my love. So we've made a little oh, square in a square. Square there. in a square. That's all that Fabulous. is. Fabulous. Okay. Yeah, I quite like that Honey's working in a tea room, actually, because when I go and pick her up, I'm like, well, if I just get there a little bit earlier, yeah. you know, if I'm just a tad earlier, then... Uh, what if there's, like, cake left over? There's Do you always get to cake. Bring it, to, there's you always get to bring cake. it home? She hasn't... Well, possibly, but none has made it home yet. Oh. But when you go to an event, you can take a little box and you take can. the excess home. Nice. So what I'm going to do here is just fold this into the centre just to find my centre point. I find this a little bit easier to centre that half square triangle there. Mm -hmm. It would probably be lethal actually if that was allowed. Taking cake home, I know. Yeah. 
Who like if eating. I ever worked in a fish and chip shop? Well, that's I did when I was younger. Did you? Yeah, I loved it. It was my favourite job. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> I was only 15 and I absolutely loved it. And we could Wrapped always, if, open. if we, it, oh, uh, wraps. Yeah. If we did the last shift, then we could always take it. So I was volunteered for the last shift. I, I regret oh, it years later. Well, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause I can't really say no. Once that malt vinegar mm. hits the hot chips. Lovely. Yum. So here again, I'm just folding this in half just to find the center. I find this makes it a lot easier to get that into position. So I'll do that on both sides to begin with. Oh, someone's done it. Look, Fiona says someone has actually taken a decade to try every National Trust place to try their cream teas. Oh, wow. I love that. That's love a lot that. of commitment. Charlie and I have got annual memberships of the National Trust yeah. this year. We're looking forward to trying those. Uh, she also says, I make two inch shoe fingers decorated with poppy seeds or sesame seeds, then filled with flavored cream cheese or whatever your preference is, Fiona. Do you mind if I make a list? <laughs> Gosh, you sound gorgeous. I haven't made shoe buns for years. I used to love making shoe pastry. I did say to my children a couple of years ago, I really wanted you to have you know, like people will say, oh, well, this is my mum's recipe. Yeah. Well, I don't particularly have one of those. So I went on a bit of a spat of like trying to create mum's recipe. Okay. But my attention How did that span. Work out? Yeah, it didn't last very long. <laughs> didn't last very long at all. <laughs> Will you use dad's? <laughs> Your legacy. <laughs> I wanted that. I wanted to have it. <laughs> They're like, but you can't bake, mum. You know, yeah. you just can't. Yeah. So would you get like sort of two recipes in and then just put on board? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Love it. Pretty much. We had, when I was growing up, we had, it was the Stork oh, yeah. book of family cookery, I think it was called. Towards the white or the blue? Towards the blue, please. Towards the blue. Um, yeah, I think it was the Stork book of family cookery and every single recipe in it included stalk margarine in one way or another. <laughs> <laughs> you know, which is quite difficult to get into a meringue, but, but they managed. <laughs> that managed to squeeze it in. <laughs> I could do meringue, I could do meringue. Cheese, I can do cheesecake. What was, what Maltese we for pudding, cheesecake um, was my thing. <laughs> fruit salad yeah. with stalk. <laughs> no, I don't, there wasn't actually a recipe for fruit salad with stalk, but it would have been quite sure? funny. Well, you know, we, <laughs> we never had it if it was. I'm gonna look for it. But, um, but that was lovely because my mum, had written in all the recipes, and I think a lot of people's mums and nans did this. They, they've got old cookbooks and they've got little, you know, omit this, add a dash of this, yes. try this with a bit of extra paprika or something like that. And it's those, especially if that person's no longer with you, you look at those little annotations and you just and think And that's what of, makes it special. Yeah. So I could just get a book and write some things in just and pretend. Just write some notes in it. Yeah, I can do that. You no. Know. I can do that. Yeah. You know what they say, fake it till you make it. <laughs> we'll definitely have to do that there. <laughs> so I've done the same here. So just folding that in half, finding the center, the same with the white and placing this on top. Mm -hmm. And then I know that this is in the correct place, that yeah. it's centered. This is such a special thing. Um, my village are having a street party. And what you do is you take your own table and chairs and oh, food. Nice. And food. <laughs> <laughs> right, so basically I'm just moving my tape my dining table out into the street <laughs> and eating in front of her. Anyway, anyway. But I remember, you know, the Jubilee celebrations where it was like long tables down the centre of the street and you just went to it, which was quite cool. But anyway. But some, right. but somebody has to make the food, so I, I get bring your own. It's true. Somebody um, obviously was not very happy that they did more than that's why well, it's now. And I think as well now, we're much, much more conscious of things like food intolerances, allergies, yeah. more people are vegan, vegetarian, so yeah. I get it. But um, yeah, but, but then you could have your crowned with diamonds, table center on your table and sort of really make it special. It gets quite competitive, doesn't it? Yeah, this would definitely get you there, wouldn't yeah. it? It would, it would. Actually, the lady who lives a few doors down knocked, with, knocked our door the other day and she was like, right, there's a competition that I'm entering. Mm -hmm. Can I have one of your samples? <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Pass it off as my own. 
<laughs> I was like, which sample do you want? She went, you know, those lovely ball balls. I said, I will give you a polystyrene ball. And yeah. That, and then yeah. You have to have the enjoyment of actually no, making no. it. Absolutely. So again, into the blue for into me, the please. Blue, no problem. Yep. It reminds me of the film Calendar Girls, where the lead character is saying at the start about, you know, if um, she's won the v Victoria Sponge cake competition for her WI and she's saying to somebody oh yeah I mean I did what my mum always did you know if it's for a real special occasion just buy it from Marks and Spence. <laughs> I could do that I could participate in that. <laughs> so what we're doing oh, now gosh, is just that's matched up creating. gorgeously wow <laughs> that is on fleek as I think the kids say. <laughs> Beautiful. Thank you. So what we're doing now, so we're creating the crown and to create that what we're doing is taking one of the gold squares, so this is going to be the centre, and then we're popping one of the triangles on top. So we're going to do this four times, but I've already gone ahead and made up one of these just so you can see. So this is the section that we're creating at the moment. So just placing that on top, uh, making sure the raw edge is marrying up and these points are overhanging. And then again, just using that quarter inch seam allowance, we're going to sew along that raw edge there. Oh, I see. Cool. Okay, got some nice messages. Um, thinking back to uh, scones, Sue says, the first question I was asked when I was joining a craft group when I moved to Cornwall was, um, did I know whether it was cream or jam first? And she had to get the question right in order to be accepted. Did she get Did she get accepted? Well, she said when joining, so I'm yeah. assuming When so. I joined, yeah. So I'm assuming you, you knew the right answer. Good. Uh, Sheila says, I still use stalk margarine for baking. It always produces good results. Very nice. Good. Other margarines are available. Uh, Catherine says, a friend asked me to help her bake for a bake sale at work. She wasn't sure about something and I told her what to do. She looked at me and said, I didn't know you could bake I said I can I just don't <laughs> my friend Sally never eats cake but she bakes all the time oh, for really? the people oh, yeah see if I bake that's, if I baked I'd eat it so that's the yeah. thing yeah no she's a nurse into the gold so, for yep. me please oh she's does she nurse. make it for work she makes it for the and um, when they have like the team meetings yeah so you know she's very clever because um, whenever she needs to ask any of the physios, the doctors, the OTs for a favour, oh. they really are already indebted. <laughs> I so, like it. You know, it's whatever works, eh? We like it. Pay it forward. What's it, nice about this gold um, Lewis and Irene fabric, by the way, is it is very, very easy to press. Yes. It isn't like a sort of a thick coating. I've only got three. That's right, because I've already made one. Oh, up here. super. Great. We've got a um, head. A little bit of head. 13 of the kits with Lewis and Irene remain. That is it. And then they are sold out. So just 13. The details are on screen for the Lewis and Irene version. Uh, it is $24.99. And features this just gorgeous array of fabrics you have the white on white for your background you have the gold metallic bumbleberries that is beautiful quality you've got the red coronation tea cups of tea teapots little bows and flags crowns it's really celebratory and then you have the same with a blue background you also get your backing fabric, whether you're making the cushion or the table center, you'll use the same kit, the same instructions, slight variation at the end. Um, and then you also get your full instructions for $24.99. It's super value, but very, very limited stock now. Very limited stock. If you prefer, and that's that one made up by the way, that's it all made up, just looks stunning. Really love that. Now, if you prefer a bit of liberty, You've got the Liberty version that uses a selection. You've got some Wiltshire Shadow Gold Metallic. You've got Red Emily Bell. You have got a beautiful white on white print. Blue Wiltshire Shadow. Gorgeous and deep. And then you have got that black, sorry, navy and gold pin dot backing. And um, this is the same fabrics, those Liberty fabrics, but this time made up into a cushion. 
And so I guess the difference is for the cushion you stuff it. That's right. And for the table centre you press it flat and top stitch around That's the it. outside edge. Well, when I was originally going to do this, I wanted to do a um, a cushion. Mm -hmm. I really wanted to have a go at doing a cushion. Oh yeah. Um, and we were just asked if we could maybe do a new table centre because we haven't done a table centre for a while mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and so that's why we just put that additional step in the pattern so you can have it's a really or. clever idea I like it um, now if you want to buy the pattern on its own you can 9.99 details are on screen you get full instructions you get your very important this your fabric layout diagrams and you get that for the blue for the red the gold and the white really important that you use those placement diagrams particularly for the blue where Kerry really has squeezed out every little bit from the fabric and that's what we want Absolutely. it's nice to have a few bits and bobs left over but mostly a kit is good if you use the majority of it that's right um, so you get your layout you get your general instructions for enjoying your sewing and then you get full instructions for creating the crowned with diamonds table center or cushion you decide it's all really you make your block and then it's really how you finish it layer it with batting and quilt it and then top stitch around the outside edge for the center if you want to use it as a cushion then do your quilting so you do your quilting just with batting just with batting yeah so for both of them what i'd be doing is putting it directly onto the batting doing mm -hmm. the i did exactly the same on the cushion so there is ideas inside the pattern how you can quilt I just like some really easy straight lines so if you are a beginner that's probably the best option to stick with but i particularly like just adding a little bit of free motion to mine mm -hmm. so again you can do whatever you want you can go to um, additional lengths if you want to and do mm -hmm. something spectacular on there if you've got a quilting machine but I just particularly like yeah 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 this. I love the I love that mm. uh, vermicelli or wiggle stitch all over it looks fantastic and you've used a white thread throughout which yes. looks gorgeous you could also really go to town and use maybe a gold metallic thread you definitely could <laughs> had I have had some to hand bit of bling. <laughs> I would have definitely added a bit of bling into bit there of bling, yeah, yeah. And, but you can always go in once you've quilted something you can always go in with something like a lurex embroidery floss yep. uh, you know dmc or anchor do them and you could just do a little bit of hand quilting using you know um, an embroidery floss just to add a little bit very nice very nice oh fiona says get to the may Malvern quilts on the sunday and i'll bring you some shoe fingers to try fiona I'll, I'll you're tempted you'll be there as I'll well i'll be there is that in May? Yeah. Ooh. I'll be there. Are you going to be at um, Sewing for Pleasure yes. next weekend? Yes. Every we're, day? Yes. So we've, we're you? exhibiting there. Oh, awesome. So we're at Sewing for Pleasure and then Exeter. Ace, uh, I'm coming to Sewing for Pleasure on Saturday for the afternoon. I'm on air in the morning up till one o'clock and then I'm going to hot foot it over to the NEC and have the afternoon so I will come and I'll say see you there. Hi. Yeah. I'll join you on my break. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, definitely. I think there's a gin bar. I don't oh, know that? that there is. I don't know. I'll just bring a hip flask. <laughs> yeah. How are you getting on? I'm getting on very well. So all I'm doing now is just sewing the half square triangle. So for this part, the Again, your diagrams are in the pattern booklet, but for here, if you just place it out so it is now the crown, it just makes it easier when you show sewing these mm -hmm. two sections together. Mm -hmm. So if you can press to the dot to the blue, blue for me, yeah, because they're sewn together as you can see in a slightly different way. So if you place it out, I always yep. think placing it out makes life so much easier. You've very much got into having a pressing assistant, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> You can press it anywhere you want to, but yeah, I am quite... Have you trained Craig up yet? No. 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 He's too busy doing all the other stuff. True, true. He's too busy doing the booklets and the diagrams yeah. and the quitting. We have a good system. We work well together. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I it's... do the pretty stuff. <laughs> and how do you find working together? Is he watching? Do you have to watch your P's and Q's? With Craig? Oh, we've been together for a long time now. How, how, so how do you find working with him? Is he a nightmare? Is he great? Just leave him to it? Craig's very good with lists. So if he has a list, right. if we have regular meetings and we have lists, then he'll take absolutely everything off on a list. 
If it's not very on good. the list, it's not it's being not done. done. <laughs> no, Charlie's very similar actually. If I ask him to do something very specific, he just gets straight on and do it. No bother. Yep. No bother. If it's on the list, it's getting done. Yep. Great. The problem is, as he's starting one list, I'm thinking about the next one. So right. we have a, a WhatsApp group, you know. So I'm sending it through and he's like, stop. So he's sitting at the next <laughs> desk to you and you have a WhatsApp. No, 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 no. I, wor I work from home quite oh, a lot. Oh, gotcha. And in particular, I have been the last few weeks. Yeah. Um, and it's not every couple that could work together, is it? <laughs> I'm not, I know quite a lot of people who work together, yeah, but Charlie we do and I get did asked. For years and we used to love it. We used to have great fun. We have a lot of fun, but it's a lot of um, a lot of hard work as well. But yeah. over the past, I think over the past two years, we've really sort of defined our roles. Where right. when we were first starting out, it was a bit of a bit of this, a bit of this, and we now yeah, know yeah. what you know yeah. what we're good at and what we're not good at. But more importantly, which parts we enjoy. Yeah. So for here, all I've done here is just taken one of the sets. Let me just switch these around, put them back into their order. That's it. So these ones are this side and this is this side. Mm -hmm. So what we're doing now, just placing these on top. And this is why I like pressing the seams in the in this mm. particular um, direction is this will naturally nest together now. So just pinning through those. I tend to pin through, you know, seams on both sides. Either side, yeah, rather than yeah. trying to push it through the very centre. Yeah, definitely. And just pop one on the end there. So if I do that for all three, we can get a little bit mm -hmm. of a... A bit of traction, That's yeah. It. So it the, is, I love the fabrics. I, love I absolutely the fabrics. love the fabrics. I love mm. I love both collections. Mm. I love both collections. Mm. So we so for our um, for our uh, little bit of I suppose you have like team bonding and teamwork. That's where right. we go to. That's where we go to our guitar lessons. So we still do that oh, together. Okay. So. <laughs> And how are you getting on? What's what's Craig currently practicing? What are you oh, currently practicing? I'm currently practicing. I went last week actually. Craig wasn't feeling very well, so he didn't go last week. So I had the whole hour to myself. And uh, our our tutor's very young, and he was like, "Do you want to learn something that I've not taught Craig?" So I felt quite happy that I'd learned something new. Um, right. Just how to re just literally how to read music. Right. Um, on the guitar because it's very different to when I played the clarinet years ago. Mm -hmm. Um, but Craig's still, you know, into doing all of these Nirvana and that type of stuff. Bam, 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 bam. I could just imagine. Mine, it was like, let's do, isn't she lovely? Oh, that's <laughs> And cute. that's about all I could do. I like that, I like that. You just incessantly play that one, that, that's that all one I know. line yeah, over that's, and that's over. Yeah, that's about it. Craig, Craig, listen to this. <laughs> isn't she lovely? It was funny at Christmas because we went to go and see my nieces. And they all play the guitar as well. I was very proud of myself, you know. I went to go and play. They get all their guitars out. They're incredibly brilliant on there. Mm. And um, my brother-in-law came back and she was like, oh, look, Kerry's playing the guitar. He went, what can you play? You know, like, play me this. I was like, no, honestly, I only know. I talk about Jingle Bells all the time. <laughs> so I'm playing what I think sounds exactly like Jingle Bells. Yeah. And he just starts laughing, bursts out laughing and went, what are you playing? It doesn't sound like anything. <laughs> Harsh. It's a bit mean, isn't it? Yeah. But actually, I've, I've recorded it. To the that's outside? What, um, to the, the inside, inside, please. So that's the, the only reason I ever share videos of Craig, because he's very good. Mm. Mine sounds nothing like it. So I, I don't think does. we'll be doing a concert any anytime <laughs> soon. But I'm oh, now, loving come on, going. We've got Alison Marion lined up on the Alice triangle. Alison Marion's ready. And I think Pauline Wheeler's going to be on Jingle Bells. That's right. I think I'm doing... Am I sweeping the stage when everyone's finished? <laughs> You're singing. Oh, I don't think you want me to do that, really. Not Actually, really. we've got some practice time if you come to Utoxeter, because Alison Marion's going to be there as well. Okay. So if you can swing by and see us at Utoxeter. Are we going to have a jamming session? Shall we have a jamming session after the exhibition? i tell you what, I'll bring the scones, you bring the jam. <laughs> I'll do that. <laughs> it's the only jamming I'm interested in. So <laughs> I'm all for that. <laughs> In fact, Alison's very good at baking as oh, well, isn't yeah. she? So we could, or we yeah. could get Susie Duncan to conquer sugar She's foraging really and make the jam. She's really good at baking, really good at baking. Right. We, we often benefit from Susie Duncan's baking. <laughs> <laughs> so now we've popped the one side on, we're simply going to repeat the same on the opposite side. Okay. 
And if we do this in all, uh, for all three of our crowns, then it makes constructing the finished block yeah. super easy. Yeah, 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 I like that. Um, Donna's uh, messaged in with an interesting question. Uh, she says, hi both, love watching you guys. Um, just wondered, do you design products then approach a designer or do they come to you then you design so do you ever design for other people have you or has it always been for living in loveliness always been for living in loveliness mm. i've always been for living in loveliness however, however we have something in the pipeline i can't share anything just yet you but i know bit exciting yes, very exciting very exciting very exciting indeed. so you've been approached yes very nice we um, can say no more which is which is very exciting yeah that's cool um but normally it's just our own products okay, our own fair projects enough. yep and most of them come from you know from meeting people at exhibitions running yes. workshops doing the shows here yes. chatting to yourself because you'll very often go well you know you could think about this and mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know and most of it is inspired by the conversations we have and the need the, the gap that needs filling really yeah, I suppose. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Now we need to tell you this Lewis and Irene that we are working on together there are only eight of the kits left. Only eight kits left. There are 16 in baskets so twice as many of you. Have it in your baskets. Uh, it won't work out well. We don't have enough to go around so do please check out your baskets and make all this lovely ironing worth it. <laughs> we have a great system. I, I really do, do wish I could take you home. <laughs> yeah. Well, today so you might end samples. up taking me home. If I can't get home to Yorkshire, I might just turn up on your doorstep. <laughs> you can come. You come with me. I've got a lovely pile of ironing. <laughs> oh, oh, do I have to earn my keep? Gosh. Straight in there. You didn't hang about, Kerry. Definitely not. <laughs> When my mom comes to visit, she pops in very often to um, to our unit when she's on a break, and she yep. comes and she'll go, "Am I making the tea?" And I'll just sort of what do you think? Gently walk away from the table, and she'll go, <laughs> "Shall I put these boxes together, or shall I just pack these?" I'm like, "I'll do tea," but my mom drinks tea like me, so she's oh, pre okay. she appreciates my yeah, tea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there are no passengers on the living in loveliness <laughs> ship. <laughs> Lovely. My friend came round to see me last night, actually, uh -huh. and I was sitting, like, rolling up um, by a spinding. Okay. And she just didn't even ask. She just coat off, sat down, and just started rolling it. I was like, oh, I love it when you visit. She's amazing. Ah, lovely Chrissy. She's yeah. fabulous. Aww. There we go. So we've got one, two, three, four. four. Oh, wow. Well done. We did Look very that. well there, didn't we? So to attach to these now, what we're going to do is to just bring the white sections or the eyepiece to the top. And we're simply going to attach the two half squares onto the top. We'll repeat on the bottom as well. Mm -hmm. And you can see, I mean, we're not rushing this at all, are we? This is coming no. together really nice and easy. It is, I mean, it's a nice day project really. And you can be coronation ready. I suppose if you're doing a few different projects, maybe you're doing the coronation bauble and the bunting, maybe making a few of the uh, coronation corsages oh, nice. and a table centre, you know, start now and then maybe each week do another little project. It is May, isn't it? The May the 8th. May the 8th. May the 8th. Is it May the 8th? Or? Yeah. No, May the 6th. May the 6th. We're going down to London just a few days before just after Maybank holiday. Yeah. So hoping that we'll see sort of preparations. Oh, wow, how lovely. I keep yeah. thinking about the eighth because that's the, we were, wasn't sure whether it was going to affect the sats for our children, oh, thinking okay. about it being on that mm -hmm. date. So into the center for me. Yep. And then I'll do the top one. Now, when you're coming to put the back onto the project, it is as simple as Stuart said, you know, you can, pop you back on there so after this section what I would be doing is then placing this onto the batting and mm -hmm. then adding your um, your your quilting whatever yep. way you've decided to do that yep. and then once you've done that trimming it down so in the pattern instructions I just talked to you about keeping that as a square um, making it easier, especially if you're going to do any free motion on here, it just gives you something to oh, hold on to. Oh, just use like a big square of yeah. batting, yeah. yeah. And um, then once you've done that, 
then trimming it down to the size placing that onto that lovely metallic backing fabric there and then you're just popping the back on leaving your turning gap mm -hmm. and um, once you've left your turning gap you have the option then do you press it flat and top stitch which is what I did for the table centre or fill it with your stuffing yeah and I did think afterwards when once I'd made the cushion it would be fabulous actually you know the lovely buttons the nice I, I just visualized a nice big red oh yeah jewel in the center and just pulling that through jewel the layers in the crown. jewel in the crown yeah 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 I like that so here I'm just popping the um, sides onto here. So what I tend to do here with these points is just roll those out. Make sure the point of the diamond or diamonds, we've got one in the crown and one in the centre and pin there first. Mm -hmm. And then onto the end. Now I haven't tidied this up as I've gone along but you will need to onto your project. And again, all your measurements are in your pattern booklet. So things like the dog ears, clip those off. Clip off, those as clip you go, threads. yeah. yeah, yeah coming together though looking really good it's a stunning block well I think I'm gonna have to start my coronation projects when I get home yeah you're so busy as well you know it's um it, well, I've always here. got time for a little extra project though always always got time especially something fun there we go. Little afternoon project, you know. Yeah. Like and these, the, all of the projects we've brought along today, these are all nice projects, aren't they? Yeah. So have you got anything in mind? Well, dare I say it, I think I am going to do a bit of bunting. Fabulous. Just a little bit of bunting. Just How I many think, metres? Well, I think what I'm going to do is do mini bunting and put it in the windows, inside oh, nice, in the windows yeah. at the front, which I quite that, like. That, you could probably pink and sheer. That's a nice yeah. idea. Yeah, just really small. Um, and then I think I maybe do something like, I love the baubles actually. Yeah. And I'm just imagining like a vase with branches and then have all that red, white and blue baubles and some fabric ones and maybe some origami paper ones as well. Nice. Bit of fun. See, if you were doing like, you, I was thinking about this actually in between shows, if you were doing like you'd said like a vase of them, you could just do a whole one gold, a whole one blue, mm -hmm, a whole one mm -hmm. red and then have your special. Mm. It's really endless, nice. isn't it, the things you can do? It is endless. It is endless. Yeah. But it's so much fun to do a, a little project like that, something like a table centre yeah. or, uh, you know, something 3D. Now, um, towards the inside or the outside? Um, inside, for inside, this one, please. Yep. Have I? I hope I've done a good job for you. You've done a very good job. Is it all right? You have the job. Uh, oh, <laughs> you just uh, keep saying no. No, that's that's good. I'm 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 glad. I'm glad. <laughs> we'll keep you busy. Yeah, uh, busier, I bet. busier, busier. What's the weather doing out there? It's raining. Hurrah! That's good news for us. Hurrah! <laughs> That's oh, very good news for us. I love it when it rains. <laughs> Especially when there's been snow. I really oh. like snow days though. They're when I'm lovely home, of if you can just stay in and so yeah. yeah. We went some years ago, we were actually snowed in for about three days. Yeah. And you really couldn't get out of the village and it was delightful yeah. it was delightful for us because we could just say when craig was in the army we got snowed in, in we used to live in a little village called middle wallop mm -hmm. um and we got snowed and you just couldn't get anywhere and everywhere was country lanes around and it was fab it was just fab mm -hmm. there was a big green in front of us and everybody just met so into out to the end out to the sides for me for those ones these ones yes please so I've they've gone in press them i've already done them once Oh, have you? Yeah. Oh, sorry. In I should. I could have just. <laughs> these go out. That's fine. I can repress those. We can it's just not a problem. Them. I'll pin this one while you press. How that many one. left? Two. Two left of the Lewis and Irene. That's it. Two left. If you want the Lewis and Irene version, you better be quick. You better. So again, just pinning. These. What I tend to do on each of these, especially where these points, you're really going to see these, is just roll it out, make sure they're mm -hmm. marrying up. It well, is I've much easier. That one. It's okay. Do you want me to? No? All right. I've scooted ahead. We'll give it a little press afterwards. Okay. 
And when you say we'll give it a little, little press afterwards, <laughs> what do you mean, Kerry? I was I really, <laughs> really rubbish at delegation a long time ago. But I'm, you did what, I, sorry? I was said I was terrible at delegation years ago. Right, I'm, I'm yeah. getting better. Yeah. I'm getting better. Yeah. It's always I mean, a royal we. Most people are though, aren't they? Most people find it difficult, you know. But no, you've definitely learned how to delegate iron, <laughs> Kerry. I think you can, <laughs> job done. Very much. Well done, everybody. Fiona says, uh, oh, it's lovely how you're bouncing ideas between the two of you. Thank we do you. that a lot. We do we that do. a lot. You do inspire do. me a lot. You inspire me too. You inspire me too. Like your love of gold metallics and metallic threads and yeah. fabrics is definitely making me think, ooh, I need to be using some metallics. I've neglected them. It's quite nice, isn't it? And I think that's what's nice about watching the shows or going yeah. to the exhibitions. Sometimes it's just that little bit of just one thing, if you can just take one thing away. One thing, one thing, that's all it takes. I go home from here, every time Every time I come, I go home and in the car and a million miles an hour of all the things I'm going to do. And then mm. I get home, I sit down and go to sleep. Yes, <laughs> I know, I know, it's so tempting, isn't So I have it? to write it all day while it's fresh. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Coronation nails, by the way, available from Kerry. <laughs> <laughs> they are fab. Right, I'm up, I'm up. Are We're you? up. Shall I put the next one on put and the then we'll give it a final we'll press? press. Yeah. We'll do one final press yeah. together. It's a glorious star block. Oh, I love it. It is beautiful. Really majestic and a real centrepiece. It definitely is, and that's what it, that's really what we wanted to do is have mm. something that really stands proud. And I think the the you know the colours just mm -hmm. really make it pop. I mean, I, I'm definitely going to make this, and I love floral fabric as mm -hmm. well. And mm -hmm. for me, I would probably only have this out for the jubilee. I wouldn't have this out all of the time. Mm -hmm. So I'm definitely going to make the block again in a in a floral print. Oh, we've lovely. just had we've just had some more lovely Lewis and Irene florals nice, arrived. Good. This is the problem because I, you know, yesterday I had so much to do. Mm -hmm. I'm a bit slower anyway because I've hurt my back. Oh. And so I, the delivery comes and I try really hard not to open it. I bet you do. I bet because you if do, I open it, then every, yeah, a huge distraction. So I delegated, I said, Craig, you open, don't show me until I've done, all, I've done my to-do list. <laughs> because you will be unmoved by the contents. It just goes more fabric. <laughs> I know it's funny, isn't it? I'm, you know, I mean, Charlie has over the years, you know, has got very good at recognising when and how to respond to, <laughs> you know, I show him something, but you know, he will just. Sometimes I show him something that I don't like, but he gets it wrong and oh, thinks that he's supposed ask, to like it. Do you try and it. trick him though? I say, what do you think of this? And he'll go, oh yeah, it's really nice. I went, really? I hate. They go, oh no, I don't That's really like. That's very mean, though. That's very, I think that's very mean. No, I'm not trying to trip him up, I promise. <laughs> I promise. Oh no. Oh, no. I've, I've been guilty of doing that to Craig. Or it's sometimes when you say, can you give me an honest answer? And you really don't want that honest answer and you get it and you think, oh, why, why did you have to I say ask? that? <laughs> no, no. Charlie definitely knows not to wait until I have finished the binding on a quilt to then say, oh. Did you I know? Did, did, yeah. That's wrong. Oh, don't. Can you imagine? Is it supposed to be like that? Yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, Craig's very good at that, actually. When, once I've finished a project, he will scare over and he can see it because we just get distracted with, oh, I just love that fabric. That's yeah. my favourite. Or could I have put a fabric in a different way? Whereas yep. if there's anything wrong with it, he can mm -hmm. spot it from a mile off. Okay. Any which way this time? Yeah, any, any which way is absolutely fine. Okay. It's absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful, beautiful combination of fabrics. This is Lewis and Irene, but we also have a Liberty version if you prefer. Uh, I think is the Lewis and Irene sold out now? Yeah, basically, yeah. There's one left. The Liberty one is going on screen now. If you want to go Liberty, loads and loads of this in baskets, but we've only got 14 left. So if you want to go Liberté, then you need to be quick. Oh, yummy. Absolutely gorgeous. Just do the last side. 
So when you layer this up with your batting and backing, are you a pinner? Are you a sprayer? I'm a sprayer. Oh yeah. 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 So yeah. something like this, small like this, I'm all for five oh five. Yeah. Have you nice ever done and a big easy. Quilt with five oh five. Pardon? Have you ever done a big quilt yes. with five oh five? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and what I tend to do is just give it a little press with the iron as well yeah. thereafter yeah. and really make sure it's nice and flat Everything and ready nice to go. And yeah. Joined up. But I yeah. am five oh five. Even on the smallest projects now, I think it's just my go to. So I'll easy, always isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah you can just relax and quilt it. That is absolutely stunning. Look at that. Just so, gorgeous. Just a little tidy up and as I mentioned, onto your batting, add the quilting however you want to. What we did in the pattern booklet is just really simple along your main seams mm -hmm. and along the diamonds. And then once you've finished that, if I have the blue, if I have this one. So once you've done your quilting, then you're simply going to place your um, backing fabric out, pop it on pattern facing, and it's at that point, to be honest, when I tend to cut it. And mm -hmm. then all you're doing from there is sewing around all of your raw edges, leaving a turning gap, and um, either, either way you've got to slip stitch that to finish, but mm -hmm. either filling it with stuffing, or top stitching, whichever one you prefer. I have to say, I feel like I need a few of these cushions because I just mm. think these will look fabulous outside you when know. we start having parties in the yeah. garden. Oh gosh, they really They're would. They're really um, absolutely gorgeous. And it's quite nice to have a different shape of cushion as well. I love that. I love that. And I agree with you, a cushion, maybe with a button Yeah, I, the I had a little look. I have that many... Covered button? Trink covered button would be fab, but I feel like it's crying out jewel. for a jewel, a red prominent jewel mm -hmm. in the center just to pull that through like a real ruby Re a real ruby if you're listening craig a <laughs> ruby for my cushion <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> it's happening we'll go, we'll go a little bit of sparkle that will yeah, work perfectly a little bit of sparkle will work brilliant thank you so much for <laughs> those demos much. today it's been great fun as We've always had a, look, had a lot of fun thank you keep very practicing much. the guitar i will keep doing the nail i might art. have a real i might have a real song the next time i see i won't because yeah. we've been a few weeks but you know there's hope there is hope there is hope <laughs> do you know when you're back the 20, no, 19th of March. Oh. With another coronation The 19th, project. that's Mother's Day. It is Mother's Day. And it's you and me. It's me and, yes. It and, is. And so is that the day you're going to the exhibition? No, you're going Saturday. The day before the Saturday. So I'm actually at the exhibition. I'm coming to do the show and then I'm back to do the exhibition. Are you staying exhibition. over on the night, on the Saturday night? No, because we're, I might. We can go for dinner. Yeah. Let's go dinner. Okay, That's we've what got we'll that do. Plan. There Good. we sorted. Excellent. It's a date. <laughs> <laughs> Fabulous. All right. So remember, there are two options. Well, there's really only one option left, and that is the Liberty version. The details are on screen right now. Twenty-five ninety-nine for your beautiful Liberty version. It's this one that I have right here. A combination of Wiltshire shadow. Emily Bell and a gorgeous white on white to really make those prints jump and sparkle. Remember that gold is real uh, metallic sparkle there, just beautiful. And then a pin dot with metallic on the back. Super, you can make it up as a cushion, you can make it a table center, it is stunning. You also get the pattern of course included. Now, if you just wanna get the pattern on its own, we've got that, it's 9.99. We'll put the details up on screen. Half the stock of that has gone too. Then you could make it up in your own fabrics and actually this would be a really beautiful um, design to use in a quilt. If you wanted to square the block up, all you've got to do that final triangle that's added in the corners, cut four more in a contrast colour and add them in half square triangle corners and you've got a square block. $9.99 from Living in Loveliness is your pattern. Right, uh, we're going to go for a little break. When we come back, it's our final hour and we've got savings on mannequins. You won't want to miss this. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. 
Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet. Then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere. Browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals. And message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Sewing Street customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times, or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy myself an overlocker. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. Head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Are you a fan of Sewing Street? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your mates, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing community. See you there! Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet. Then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere. Browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals. And message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Follow Sewing Street on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. 
Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Here at Sewing Street, we're always looking at ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we have split pay. So with the split pay, depending on the price of the item, you can split the cost twice, three times or four times. So that means you pay once, then you pay monthly until it's finished. And you know what? We do not charge any interest whatsoever. Isn't that fantastic? Split pay, you say? Well, yes, please. I'm off to buy myself an overlocker. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favorite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favorite demos over and over again. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. It's like ABBA have reformed, isn't it? Knowing me, knowing you, aha. <laughs> Well, <laughs> here we are. Hello, hello. Uh, welcome to our final hour here on Sewing Street. And now, uh, this hour is all about, sorry, I keep on fiddling with my ear today. I don't know if my ears have smallened in the night. I think they've, sh I think they've shrunkled. Um, anyway, <laughs> this hour is all about mannequins uh, these are fabulous fabulous mannequins and you're going to be making a saving on each and every one of them yes you heard me right now don't leave it until the sewing bee is on air because you won't be able to buy a mannequin for love nor money but right now you can get your mannequin we've got the whole range uh, here uh, from adjuster form and you're going to be making a 10 percent saving on every single one of them now before we get to the mannequins something that i'm really passionate about especially when it comes to dressmaking is making twirls i do it for dressmaking i also do it for bag making as well just to try out a pattern to make sure everything fits together and also with dressmaking of course you can make simple adjustments which make all the difference to the fit before you cut into your precious fabric there's no point cutting out your gorgeous fabric i mean if you want to take it in okay if you need it slightly bigger and you've already cut it out um, that is no time to find it out get yourself some calico this is fabulous quilters calico and it is 279 per half meter now this is super wide I'm gonna grab my tape measure and tell you that this calico is 60 inches wide 60 inches wide now I use this calico quite a bit for quilt backing if I'm doing something like cushions table runners wall quilts things like that I will put quilters calico on the back it's a very economical way of doing it it'll do a quilt up to about 55 inches wide so uh, really works for me um, pre-wash it first if you're using it for twirls then just get straight in there uh, it's 279 per half meter now multi buy this because you will use this so many times when you're making a twirl for dressmaking you don't need to worry about things like pockets or collars or cuffs or you know any of the sort of little complex extras button plackets don't worry about any of those things do the main parts of the garment checking things like sleeve length checking the fit the position of bust darts um, 
and making those tweaks as and when you need to. Uh, most people, when they're doing um, a, a toile, if they're doing something like a shirt, will do the two fronts, the back, one sleeve, don't worry about cuffs, collars, nothing else. And it makes such a difference. Uh, I would be going multi-buy. Um, I reckon for most garments, you're gonna probably need about a meter and a half to two meters of calico to toile your garment. Um, and also then keep those twirl pieces. Once you've done your tweaks, once you've done your adjustments and pinned them to your adjuster form mannequin, what you can do then is use something like a Sharpie to actually draw along those seam lines, those pin lines where you've pinned or taken adjustments. You can draw them in with Sharpie and then actually use those to cut calico pattern pieces or keep that toile so you can check each time you make that garment to check and see whether your shape has changed, whether you need to make further adjustments uh, as you remake that garment. It's really Really worth doing a twirl. As I say, it's also brilliant fabric for quilting with. If you like a homespun look for things like applique or piecing, you can use it in the piecing in your quilts. Do pre-wash it. Do pre-wash it. Now, I need to let you know that half the stock has just disappeared <laughs> from our possession. Well done if you got yours. It really is worth having this in your stash. You can use it for back back in quilts, cushions, runners, things like that. As I say, just give it a pre-wash because calicos do have a little bit of shrink in them and you wanna take that out before you mix it with your other fabrics. Um, for doing a, a toile, um, not necessary to pre-wash at all. Um, lovely quality though. It's nice, got nice drape to it. It's nice and lightweight. It's about the same weight as um, a K-Facet quilt weight cotton. So it's a little bit lighter than regular quilt weight cotton. It feels more like a poplin, a cotton poplin, something like that. But uh, absolutely brill. So many of you have bought that and all of you multi-buying. Great to have in your stash. Uh, how many units do we have left? Less, Oh, okay. Uh, no, we've got 60 metres of this left. Uh, we've already sold hundreds of metres. We've got 60 metres left. So that sounds like a lot. It really isn't when you consider that most of you are multi-buying between five and 10 metres. So definitely get your order in sooner rather than later. Now, <clears throat> these are a thing of beauty. I wanna dive in and open these up. These are gorgeous. This is a pair of beautiful dressmaker's scissors. You also get a tape measure and a seam ripper, but not uh, any old. Look at this. This is absolutely gorgeous. Um, really, really nice gift. I can't actually work out to get into it yet. Oh, I'm getting there. Do you know, I think it's always good when a pair of scissors requires a pair of scissors to get into it. Kidding. There we go. There we go. Right, I'm in. All right. So, ooh, now these look and feel like the kind of scissors they would have in a tailor shop or in a fabric shop. You know, like a kind of traditional cloth out on the counter. Listen to that. Oh, there's nothing like it, is there? They are beautiful 12 inch dressmaker's shears absolutely beautiful proper heavy really comfortable grip actually and these blades just feel solid reliable quality the price is amazing 19.99 now i always say don't pay less than 19.99 for a pair of dressmaking scissors really just helping you to sort of spy the quality there but this is a particularly good deal. You're getting these extras. You're getting a super large seam ripper and it's a speed unpicker. It's got that little red bobble. So when you come to unpick um, long seams, just put that into the seam with the bobble inside and run it straight along the seam and it will take out all the stitches. It's got a cover and then you've got this beautiful covered tape measure pull it out inches on one side 
centimeters on the other it automatically locks and then squeeze to retract just squeeze the center and the whole thing will retract i'm just going to do this love it that is absolutely beautiful i love that love that set um, it comes beautifully gift boxed as well which means if you're buying this ahead because i mean 19.99 that is a super christmas present for a dressmaker's friend dressmaking friend or a quilting friend what about a mother's day gift for somebody it's really beautiful looks it really looks classy doesn't it it's got that very traditional haberdashery tailors sort of look to it just gorgeous i always try and put it back in the box and i never can so i'm just gonna thank you cat you are an absolute superstar okay right so we are going to start on to our adjustable mannequins now adjustable mannequins are constructed in the uk they are a British company and they produce these beautiful quality mannequins, adjustable dressmakers mannequins. This is the child mannequin and this is going to do I think up to about an age 12 child. I mean we're talking averages here but this is their junior mannequin. One size I will go through the size chart with you in just one second. The price is $139.99 on any other day but not today you're going to make a saving of 10 percent it's 125.99 now don't worry yours comes on a stand <laughs> on like a tripod base um we just wouldn't be able to show you very much if we had them all on tripods but um you get your little pin cushion in the top for your pins for doing your pinning and adjusting and then you have all these different adjusting dials they run down both sides to adjust chest, waist, hips, and you also get your across the back and the back waist and the hips. You've got those adjustments down the both sides, and then you've also got those adjustments down the center body. So really, really adjustable and, um, you know, super easy. It's as simple as twisting that dial to close or open up the mannequin. So you're increasing the size. Let me show you the size chart. Oh, there's a little video too. So children grow quickly. The junior is based on a child's torso and can change with your child. It features 12 adjustable thumb wheels on a child's eight part body. The body is covered in a sapphire blue nylon fabric with a foam backing. This allows you to pin fabrics and patterns to the torso. It comes complete with a sleek and easy to use metal tripod for quick assembly and storage. The pole of the stand is calibrated and includes a pin grip hem marker. So important. So no asking your child to stand on the kitchen table or on a chair while you pin the hem. Uh, you can make the whole garment and then try it on the child at the end. Now, here are the measurements. So it's one size, it will fit a chest between 61 and 81 centimeters. That equates to 24 inches, right up to 32 inches. So a big adjustment there, eight inches across the chest. The waist measurement will go from a 56 to a 76 centimeter waist. 20 centimeters of growth there inch wise that's between a 22 and a 30 inch waist i had a 30 inch waist when i was about six um the hips will go from 66 to eight too much information to 86 centimeters that's a 26 to a 34 inch hip and the back length from a 28 to a 33 centimeter that's 11 to 13 inches height of your mannequin will go up to 160 centimeters or 63 inches always worth checking the measurements of your child that you're going to be making for to make sure they fit within those parameters but don't forget with all adjuster form mannequins you can make loads of adjustments using the 12 wheels but also you can add extra padding 
to the shoulders, to the chest, to the back, to the waist, to the hips, so that you really can tailor this mannequin to the size and shape of the person that you're making for. You're making a 10% saving today on the Junior Mannequin. It's $125.99. Okay, first one, done and dusted. Oh, we've got the video. How could I forget the video, le video? revolutionize your creativity i love that if you've never used a mannequin before for dressmaking it is game changing it really is you know if you make for other people you've got to have them in the room with you when you make those adjustments that is not easy children won't stand still adults in my experience won't stand still and also I like doing sewing when I want to do sewing, be that five in the morning or 2 a.m. or, you know, half past 11 at night. I can't always have the person standing there. With your adjuster form, they are always cooperative. They always stand still and they are fully adjustable. They won't even talk to you when you're doing the hem and say, ow, that pin went in me. I mean, come on, it's great. Um, the other thing is if you make for yourself, um, you really cannot pin to yourself. I mean, maybe in some parts, but not everywhere. You can't do your own hem. On your mannequin, you can adjust it to your size uh, and then just dress make to a quality and a fit that you really can't achieve any other way with as much ease. Let's move on to the next mannequin. This is the man, the man. Uh, one, five, nine, and 99 on any other day but not today. It should be $159.99. The price is going to crash. You're making a 10% saving. It's going to be $143.99. Now, there are split pays available if you'd like. $47.99 is all you need to pay today to get your man home. Um, $47.99. One payment will get your mannequin home. Crack on, start dressmaking using a mannequin. My father-in-law has this, loves it. He does lots of dressmaking. Now, the male form, the male form has a number of different adjustments. It has 12 wheels, so three along the front, three along the back, and three down each side, making it fully adjustable, chest, waist, hips, back length. And also, of course, it comes on an adjustable stand, which also includes an offset leg. So you can either have this on a center position or an offset position. So for example, if you're doing something like a nightshirt, you want center position, you're gonna have a bottom hem. If you're doing trousers or shorts, use it on the side um, position, and then you'll have that one leg going through, uh, sorry, the pole going through one leg on your shorts or trousers. Now, the female mannequin that has the two positions for the pole is by far the most popular mannequin. It's so useful to have the option of having the offset stand. So it's terrific that you get that with the man. Um, there's one size, and let me go through the sizes for you. Just hide behind the man there. <laughs> okay. So that male form is based on the male torso, certainly isn't based on mine, um, and allows the creation of trousers. Uh, it features 12 adjustable thumb wheels 
on a male body. The body is covered in a charcoal grey nylon fabric with a foam backing. This allows you to pin fabrics and patterns to the torso. It comes complete with a sleek and easy to use metal tripod for quick assembly and storage. The pole of the stand is calibrated and remember it can be used in an offset position for trousers. I think that's so important. Now the chest is adjustable between 37 inches and 45 adjust inches. Remember you can pad that out to larger which I think is really important. So you can take that chest measurement higher if you need to. That's 94 to 114 centimeters. Now, the waist runs from 33 inches to 41 inches, which is 84 to 104 centimetres. The hips go from 39 to 47 inches, eight inches of adjustment there. That's between 99 and 119 centimetres. And then the back length can go between 16 and 18 inches. The height, maximum 77 inches. I should also just mention, actually, while we're just looking at the male mannequin, if I just tip the mannequin down the neck will also adjust so you twist look at that so when you're making shirts and you're doing the collar and you want to create a beautiful 16 and a half inch collar or an 18 inch collar you can adjust the neck measurement as well absolutely super feature that that is the male mannequin no video you are kidding. You're spoiling me today, Hannah. Roll the video. Right, I'm here now with The Blue Lady, which sounds like an intro to a Miss Marple, doesn't it? Or a ghost story, the tale of The Blue Lady. The Blue Lady actually is um, a Just Form's most popular mannequin for us. Uh, it is a superb, it's a real luxury mannequin. And it comes with the option of offset legs which I find very useful. So that means you can have center position for dresses, skirts, shifts, shirt wasters, that kind of thing. And then if you want to make trousers, shorts, culottes, pantaloons, uh, you absolutely can. Offset leg and then the pole actually goes down one of the trouser legs and it means that you can easily make and hem trousers. Now, I've got B, which is, these come in different sizes. Um, there's an A, B, and a C, right? Before we start crashing the price, uh, first of all, our price is $159.99. That's before we do any savings, but it's $159.99. We're gonna go to Adjuster Forms website now. Uh, there's a price comparison for you, £174.99. That's what you'd pay if you went onto Adjuster Form's own website. We're already beating them by £14 at £159.99. But remember, we are going lower. We are doing 10% off today. It's £143.99. That's not just on B, that's on A, B, C. Whichever size you go for, you're saving 10%. So this is the best day to buy your Adjuster Form mannequin. This is by far the most um, popular of the adjustable mannequins that we sell here at Sewing Street because it's so adaptable. You can do skirts and uh, trousers as well, dresses, shorts, you name it, jackets as well. You're making a great saving there. Now, if you were buying from Adjustiform, you'd pay 174.99. 
31 pound saving 31 pound saving now ours come directly from adjuster form so it's not even like we've got the stock here and that's why we can do the saving i mean it is coming directly from adjuster form and if you bought it from adjuster form it comes directly from adjuster form um, I feel bad now. I feel bad. I don't feel that bad though because I want you to get the best price, 143.99. And as I say, Sewing Bee, the new season of Great British Sewing Bee, will be coming to our airs. We think around April time, so literally next month, as soon as Sewing Bee fever starts to hit, um, it is so hard to buy an overlocker, a sewing machine, a dressmaker's mannequin. Uh, it is so difficult to buy them because everybody suddenly remembers, hey, dressmaking, I love doing that. Um, let's get some equipment. Or maybe we watch the show and we see them using a mannequin. If you wait till then, you will really struggle, I think, especially to get the right size. Now, let's have a little look at the size chart so you can decide. This, the details on screen at the moment are for size B. <clears throat> so can I just ask which one is is b b is medium okay we'll get to b but we're going to start with extra small so this is a uk dress size between a 4 and a 12. so if you are a 10 and you're always a 10 and it doesn't vary go for the extra small because you can always pad it up a little if you need to um if you are a 12 to 14 then you're going to go small but we'll get there so extra small bust 71 to 86 centimeters a 28 to a 34 inch bust waist is going to be from 59 to 79 inch that's a 23 to 31 inch waist hips 76 to 96 centimeters that's a 30 to 38 inch hip and then the back length will adjust from 13 and a half inches to 15 and a half inches uh, in centimeters that's 34 to 39 height maximum height there of 67 inches now this also comes on a stand with a hem marking tool remember you've also got the offset pole stand okay so you can have it for trousers with offset or you can have it for skirts and dresses with the center pole position the most adaptable the most useful i think adjuster form you're making a 34 pound saving compared with buying this from the adjuster form website 143.99 today from sewing street if you wait until tomorrow the price will go back in fact if you wait until a minute past midnight tonight the price will go back up to its regular price of 159.99 okay next up we're going to do small so this would be a yeah we've called this a so details are coming up on screen for size a size wise we are going to go from bust 33 to 41 inch bust 84 to 104 centimeters uh, waist measurement from 26 to 33 and a half inches 66 to 85 centimeters the hips 36 to 44 inch 91 to 111 centimeters a back length that adjusts between 14 and a half inches and 16 and a half inches that's 37 to 42 centimeters and a maximum height of 73 inches now that equates to a uk dress size between an eight and a 16 remember you can pad up you can't pad down so go for a size which is comfortably you um that you maybe towards the upper end it all depends you know your body you look at your measurements and pick the one which is closest going to give you the best adjustments all right so that is size a small price drop of course you're just paying 143.99 and i really would go for that split pay you're only going to pay 47.99 today we'll send you adjuster form we'll send you your adjuster form it comes with a two-year warranty remember all adjuster forms are assembled and constructed in the uk they have great customer service too 
And there are also a ton of videos on YouTube and online for how to adapt your adjuster form mannequin as well. How to pad it, how to accommodate things like difference, difference in size of your um, chest, your shoulders. Um, some of us have a slightly dropped shoulder on one side. There are videos on how to accommodate that. Um, and just those differences in size and shape that make us all unique. All right, next up in the sapphire, we're gonna go with B, which is the most popular size. There is less than 20 of those left in stock. So if you want size B, which is a medium, you're gonna to need to go for that sooner rather than later. Okay, the bust measurement goes from a 39 to a 47 inch bust. That's 99 to 119 centimeters. Your waist measurement will go from a 32 to a 40 inch uh, there on your waist. That's 81 to 101 centimetres. Your hips from 41 to 49 inches. That's 104 to 124 centimetres. And the back length adjusts between 15 and 17 inches. That's a maximum height of 75 inches. Equates to a UK dress size between a 14 and a 20. And then last of all, we've got size C or large. This is the large size. And again, remember, they all come with that stand. They all come with that hem marking tool and pinning tool that runs around the bottom. You can have an offset or center leg. You get both positions in the same mannequin. You're making a 10% saving today. You could pay 174.99 for this if you want to buy it from Adjustiform's website and they will send it direct from their warehouse. Equally, you could buy it from Sewing Street today and pay uh, 30, is it 34 pounds less? 30 pound and 99 pence less, yeah. That's it, yeah, it's, it's all just about 31 pounds, isn't it? Um, it will also come direct from Adjuster Forms Warehouse, which makes no sense, but anyway, save the 30 pounds. But it's just till midnight tonight. So this is the large, or C, that is a bust size 45 to 53 inches, a waist of 38 to 46, hips 47 to 54 inches, back length that adjusts between 16 and 18 inches, and a maximum height of 75 inches. That equates to a UK dress size between an 18 and a 24. Now, can we do the lady mannequin? It is called the Lady Mannequin, isn't it? Olivia. Olivia, got you. I don't know why I was thought it was the, called the Lady. The Lady Valet. Is that this one? No, it isn't. Oh, oh. This is deluxe. This is fancy, though. This is fancy. Um, I'm going to show you this one on Adjusted Forms website. I want you to see the price comparison. £224.99. That's direct from Adjusted Form. £224.99. This is a really deluxe mannequin. It's beautiful. £224.99. Again, extra small, small, medium and large. Um, We'll just put the large on for a second. Now we're already starting 10 pounds cheaper, 214 pound 99. We're already starting 10 pounds cheaper than Adjuster Form's own website, but we are dropping the prices on all Adjuster Form mannequins to date by 10%, which means that this happens to the price. It goes from 214 pounds to under 100, well under 100 actually, 193 pounds and 99 pence. You're saving, 20, 30 pound, 30 pounds. Compared with Adjuster Forms website, I think you're saving 30 pounds. Now the um, base that comes with this is super deluxe actually. 
31 pound yeah you're saving a lot you really are saving a lot a by buying from us here at sewing street and b by buying it today because you're saving a 10 percent on the price now i just want to show you the base because it is super duper deluxe the whole thing actually thanks cat is absolutely super so it comes on lockable casters now the other um, versions the other mannequins do not have these lockable wheels on them which means that you can take this around your sewing room um, and move it easily around um, you've got that height adjustable pole on there uh, which is absolutely fantastic you've also got the offset pole option so you can use this for skirts dresses and for trousers and shorts it's got the leg hole basically it's got the leg hole it's got it's got the capacity oh i've gone i've lost so much weight <laughs> I'm just oh, oh, hello. right let's do size charts can we please thank you very much extra small extra small this is great for under 200 pounds this is fabulous i know that the sapphire is very very popular but i think right this should be very very popular because this is super deluxe under 200 pound right extra small 28 to 35 inch bust 23 to 31 inch waist 30 and a half to 32 inch sorry 38 inch hips oh you're saving an extra 50p thanks Anna 13 and a half to 15 and a half inch back length 69 inch height and a 4 to 12 UK dress size 4 to 12 lots of you coming in on this one now well done if you're getting yours get ahead so adjustable it's absolute premium Olivia extra small now we also do a small this is a the small this equates to a UK dress size between an 8 and a 16 UK dress sizes that's a 33 to 41 inch bust a 26 to 33 and a half inch waist a 36 to 44 inch hip 14 and a half inch to 16 and a half inch back length a maximum height of 73 inches again UK dress size 8 to 16 that's the small or a option of Olivia under 200 pounds you're saving such a lot of money there 193.99 or go for those split pays three split pays of 64 66 you only have to pay the first one there's no interest no credit checks and you will get your adjuster form sent direct to you from adjuster form I think this is fabulous I think this is fabulous nobody's going to be doing price reductions during sewing bee they won't have any left to sell i know it i know it it's it's been known it's actually known in the industry as the sewing bee effect and it literally came in with the very first series when it aired 10 years ago can you believe that 10 years ago the very first season um launched mm, amazing amazing and the the sewing bee effect started straight away let's do medium which is b okay okay medium you get a 39 to 47 inch bust that's 99 to 119 centimeters inch wise on the waist 32 to 40 41 to 49 inch hips 15 to 17 inch back length 75 inch maximum height that equates to a uk dress size between a 14 and a 20 option b is always the most popular i think it covers the average sizes for the uk between a 14 and a 20 it covers those average sizes but remember whatever size address you take there is an adjuster form to suit and whatever size you go for remember you can always adjust you can add extra padding you can customize i mean i know one of the things my friend cl claire louise does she was this sewing genius behind sewing bee for the first few years she always puts a bra on her adjuster for mannequins and pads out the bra because again it's sort of you can accommodate any unevenness any variation between a right and left to make that mannequin 
reflect your body size and shape as perfectly as possible that's how you get a perfect fit 193 pounds 99 pence is all you pay uh, go for those split pays if you want 6466 is all you pay today and you'll get your olivia premium mannequin home remember they all come with either a center pole or a an offset option you get both um, pole positions, pole positions. Um, don't forget, let's just remember, can we go back to Adjust Forms website just a second, just to remind you, these mannequins come direct from Adjust Form to you when you order them, they will come, but they're 200 and 24 pounds and 99 pence you're paying 193 pounds 99 from us 31 pounds saving and then we also have the large size which we've called c now the c uh you've got your waist measurement sorry bust measurement large oh we've just called it large we're just ringing the changes there yeah there's there's no consistency at all uh, a 45 to 53 inch bust, a waist between 38 and 46 inches, hips 47 to 54 inches, back length of 16 to 18 inches, and a maximum height of 75 inches. That equates to a UK dress size between an 18 and a 24. <laughs> hey, how about a video? Thank you, Bruce. Thank you, Bruce. Hello. Uh, now, uh, last mannequin I'm going to show you. This is our most affordable mannequin from Adjuster Form that we do. And actually, you are still going to get your saving. Um, we'll do the size chart first because there are two options. It's called Tailor Made. There we go. You can either go for the small or the medium. Now the small covers dress sizes between a six and a 16, that's UK dress sizes. The medium is for between a 12 and a 22. Now the price is already under a hundred pound. It is the most affordable mannequin that are just a form make. It's 99 pounds 99. What would you pay on the adjuster form website? We'll have a look. You're saving £10 today. It's 89 99 That is a magic price. I think that's terrific. You can still get split pays, 44 99 It's still really adjustable. On the small, those are the details that are on screen right now. The small, that's UK dress size 6 to 16. You've got... A bust, a bust between 33 and 40 inches, a waist between 26 and 33 inches, hips that vary between 35 and 42 inches, and a maximum height of 71 inches. Hobbycraft sell the tailor-made, £110. So you could buy it from Hobbycraft today, pay £110 plus postage, or you could pay 20 pounds, 21 pounds less and buy it from us. I know what I'd do. There we go. John Lewis, 110 pound. John Lewis, 110. You've got the hem mark around the bottom, by the way, you've got that adjustable stand. Two year guarantee is already included size small size medium yeah there we go all right so that's the small tailor-made okay um you've all and you'll see there as well you've got dials at the side 
you've got dials down the back little wheels I should say down the side and then in the front you've got these wheels that you're going to turn to open up oops get it the right way to open up and expand the mannequin 89.99 this is the medium size now I'll give you the sizes of that next okay so uh this goes 39 to 40 inch for, sorry 39 to 46 inch bust 32 to 40 inch waist a 41 to 47 inch hip a maximum height of 71 inches and that will cover uk dress sizes between a 12 and a 22. now let's see what price you'd pay on amazon for the tailor made we all go to Amazon, let's be honest. I always have a look, I always compare the price. 119 pounds. Is it and 99? Yeah. Oh, okay, so they're free delivery. Is that but if you're prime, you get free delivery? I imagine so. I don't know. All right. But at 395, even if you're only buying this from us today and you pay your 395 postage you are still paying significantly less that is 31 pounds dearer than buying it from us here 30 pounds dearer than buying it from us even if you pay your 395 postage you've still saved over 26 pounds by buying it from us rather than from amazon remember those prices are only good until midnight tonight at midnight a minute past the price will tick back up to the regular price which is 99 pound 99 pence remember depending on what mannequin you go for you're making a bigger saving on the uh, Olivia premium mannequin um, you're making huge savings there um, you're also making a really decent saving on the tailor-made absolutely fab love it all right uh, go through and check out your baskets there's one other mannequin that we haven't managed to get to uh, which is it's the red one isn't it it's this one right here which I'll just mention very quickly. This one is called Superfit. The Superfit in Cherry. So I'll show you the size chart. Four sizes available, extra small through to large. Dress sizes, anything from four to a 24. You pick the size that's nearest to you. Always remember you can pad up. One position for the pole here. And those prices will all crash. Regular price for this is going to be 149.99. So you're going to save there about 15 pound. 134.99 will be the price you pay just today. Now I'm just going to show you Olivia one last time. It's been so popular today. The Olivia. This is the premium mannequin. Um, Dawn from Wigan says, Crikey me, that's a good price. I paid more than that 20 years ago for my pre-loved model. Uh, that's amazing, Dawn. And actually, you know, I agree with you there. Um, Adjustable mannequins, they've always been a premium product. Relatively speaking, the price has really come down relative to everything else. I mean, there aren't many prices that have come down like that. But these, relative to everything else, um, absolutely brilliant and as useful today as they ever were. Thanks for that message, Dawn. Really appreciate that. Are you making a massive saving on Olivia? All right, we are going to do the uh, menu for tomorrow. We're, it's going to be John Scott and we're starting at 8am with a two hour special horn furniture with Jason. That takes us right through to 10am. Now at 10 o'clock, Becky Swan is here with Gemini Builder Block. We're going to get patchworky. At 11, we've got fabulous rainbow fabrics. You know I'm going to tune in for that. And then at 12 o'clock, Gemini Quilting Pattern Guides with Becky Swan. Hey, I have really enjoyed your company for the last two days. Um, and thank you for helping us get through this snowy day. It's all melting away now. The rain's coming down. Huzzah. I will see you very soon. I'll see you next weekend, actually. I'm here uh, Saturday, Sunday and Monday. So I'll be here for Mother's Day. Take care of yourselves. I will see you soon.